Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny. And I'm gonna enjoy this ride all over again. Alright. For the sixth time. We're the Super Gamer Brothers, and welcome... Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been following this channel, we've done our action-adventure games. We've done our platformers, survival horror... Racing? Ra no, we haven't done racing yet. Yeah, actually. I caught you with that. No, not, not yet. Actually, we should do that. But anyway, I think it's about time we finally get to an RPG. And what better way to... doesn't count? No, well... That's an action RPG. That's an action game with RPG elements. I'm talking about traditional RPG. Ah, the menu-based. Yes. And time I think to play fun with micros. Time to play with fun with your interface GUIs. Yeah, and I think there's no better way to start than with the first RPG I ever played in my entire life, Final Fantasy IV. I will uh, agree that I think the DS version does. A, I think the DS version does a really good job of trolling me. <laughs> oh yeah. Because I, I can't use a strategy anymore. No, that's the way that trolling the older players saying, yeah, the shit you pulled before is not going to work this yeah. time. But you're going to love the spell slow. Yeah, and cry. <laughs> and, and cry. I yeah. never had Kane cry so much in all my life. <laughs> but anyway, to actually... Hey, yo, Ron. You know, you know what the ultimate was for cry? Cecil making out with Rosa. <laughs> hey, check it out. Bacon. Uh, bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Actually, yeah, to actually talk about what's going on in the screen, because, man, we want to go on a full seven minutes without actually telling what's going on. Technically, screen. you did. I just sort of shut up. Well, no, okay. <laughs> well, what's going on? Our, our main protagonist is Cecil Harvey. Last name is Harvey. And he is the commander of the Red Wings. The, the Detroit uh, hockey team. The, yeah, no. <laughs> the, 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 uh, the Baron Air Fleet. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the Red Wings got a serious promotion and now they're controlling airships. Anyway, but... Uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, our pantsless white mage there is Rosa. Yes, Cecil's uh, love interest. What about Kane? Aww. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, right. Was there a Sid in 13? Yes. Oh. I hate that Sid. <laughs> anyway, Rose is concerned about Cecil. And she's going to try to offer him some pity sex. <laughs> no, well. But Cecil's too lost in the darkness of his own actions to get even a remote tunk out of his armor. <laughs> But now, and it begins with the Final Fantasy fanfare, nonetheless. Yeah, considered to be the national anthem of the series, I agree. I do love this team, and it's many incarnations. All rise for it? Uh, yeah, all rise for the Final Fantasy national anthem. I'm not, I'm gonna sit down, I'll, I'll, I'm fine. I, <laughs> I, don't you wish the Star Wars text scrolled up this fast? <laughs> anyway, look, we got a dancer here. Uh, fun fact, in the original version, she takes off her dress to dance for Cecil, so she's wearing nothing but uh, bra and panties. Um, but they to which that stall can't even bother getting aroused. No. You know, lady, if I wasn't, if my heart wasn't full of such anger and wanks and sorrow, I would be going wee. <laughs> and I would probably <laughs> slap your ass for a good 20 bucks. But I'm wearing big bulky armor. Tunk. And I would have to have a really powerful raging boner for it to go through this armor. Tonk. It's plus two defense. You know what? <laughs> I imagine that every time Kane has that near Rosa, he says he just drops his spear. <laughs> so, yeah, so you're robbing from old women. Fuck you, Johnny. No, that's, that's Rosa's house. And like, hey, Are hey, you robbing Rosa. from her mother? It's, it's, it's her. I, I, you're it's, an asshole. I'm a dark knight. <laughs> oh, okay, see, that, you that's, re that's reasonable. You're fuck a dark you, knight. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty much a lot. All, almost all the enemies here are going to be defeated real easily just by swinging your sword at them. Or in Kane's case, his entire fucking lance. Yeah, <laughs> he just doesn't know how to use a spear properly. Uh, another reason why we're doing this post commentary: editing out random battles. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, we, me and Matt really did try to do this game live, and six failures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just no, just no. But now that the dragon's gonna incorporate his own gimmick. It's turning into mist. Why don't just walk through it and call it a day? We can't, Matt. <laughs> it's fucking mist. We when you hear that particular part, of, when you hear the uh, boss music in this themes, do, does anybody else here imagine the Golbez doing a Charleston? Who's a Golbez you're speaking of? Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe later. We'll see him doing a Charleston. Yeah, we're itching. What? <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You gotta get in here doing out dancing girls. <laughs> Find all the dancing girls that he joined Cecil. <laughs> so the Carnelian Signet is a bomb ring. Oh, it's a party bomb. Oh boy. Can you imagine, like, can you imagine Kane or Cecil giving that as a gift to Rosa? <laughs> Especially as a marriage present. <laughs> That's an engagement ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just when I held the love of my life in my arms, she exploded. <laughs> Wait, here's a... You knew about this, Kane, and you didn't fucking tell me? 
Do you think he knew about the whole connection, though? I would imagine. He you know what? I imagine that's like a class taught in every single school in this world, and yet Cecil slept through the class. Cecil, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he just phased out there. I see. I see. Rydia, I see. All right. I'm assuming Kane jumped to get out of the way, but never came down. <laughs> Probably got uh, stuck on clouds. Dragons, give to me! <laughs> <laughs> Any sort of fix around the slowdown of what you would like to do, then I appreciate it. So I failed to protect your mother. I killed your mom, but I'll protect you. I promise. <laughs> you have my word. <laughs> do you have any summon beasts? Huh? Do you have any summon creatures? <laughs> we have to Just find that. a pearl in the sand. Fuck! Damn it. No shovel. You don't have mine detection. We have a we have a little we have a nine year old girl. Make her dig. <laughs> Tala looks like he needs a freaking blind man's cane. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's always something good behind the waterfall. And they're all random battles. <laughs> anyway, fish, killer fish. They're weak to thunder. I'm pausing there because my phone rang. <laughs> How did it ring last night? Uh, well, Shut up. They look like evil eggs. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Your anyway. eggs Benedict Dunn turned traitor on you. What the shit? Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt will be handling Final Fantasy V. We're actually we'll playing the, the advanced version of that game. I will be doing six because I love six so much. I will be handling seven as well. Yep. Matt will be handling eight and nine. <laughs> I'll be doing ten. Matt will be doing ten too. Matt will be doing twelve. Uh, we will look at eleven and then go away. We will look at eleven. Well, we're gonna look. We're gonna. Yeah, that'll be a special let's play. Yeah. We just go right to a GameStop yeah. and look at it. Yeah, look at it. It's like nope. Still boring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Matt will handle twelve and oh, yeah. uh, I will handle thirteen. <laughs> Again, this is like but, very but, far out planning. You know, we're not going to get to like in the next two years. Yeah, in other words, by the time we get to Final Fantasy 13, I think we'll be done making Let's Plays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to clash on the big bridge. And fuck, guys, clash on the big bridge. <laughs> the underground cavern. That's about. Hold three, on. Three times. I know. Right, when I said clash on the big bridge, there's going to be somebody going. I personally, am I the only one who found it so overrated? Yeah, you are. You're wrong. You're a contrarian. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> But zombies are weak to fire. Oh, you can also try to impress the ladies. What the nine-year-old girl? <laughs> just, look, see, look, I will protect you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. See, look at this. I did this on that really big dragon in a cave back there. Oh, we're gonna see what's beyond the second half of the underground uh, cavern. It's a zonk. It's a whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, here's the monster that Tella was talking about. That and we've passed. just and we just brought Rydia to a tentacle monster. Yes. Johnny, what the fuck, man? Uh, oh, look, whoa, whoa. You are such a Japanophile! We will make quick work of this. Oh, so I accidentally swapped ropes. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but tell him what to make sure. Tell him what to make sure. Is this the guy? Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's that's him. <laughs> okay, uh... No, you wanted to beat him by line dancing. <laughs> they sure are sidesteppers. <laughs> Looks like you're embarrassed. Yeah. No, I'm angry now. No, you're just a... Oh, actually, I was. Holy using, shit! I used Hermes. I used the I used the Hermes sandals item on Cecil. Speeds him up pretty much. This game's haste. I actually missed that, so it did look like Cecil's just blocking. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, Alzheimer's. <laughs> maybe we'll get something. Maybe we'll get greater use of that as we uh, go along. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. Then he comes out with knights of the round. Huh? <laughs> From seven? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the PlayStation Portal version has a. PlayStation Portable, yeah, it has a callback to other games. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine Rydia looking at Cecil here, just yelling out, JINX! <laughs> Fuck you, Rydia. We must help them! Oh, goddammit, Sandworm! Not now! That shit looks freaky. It looks like fucking Beetlejuice Sandworms. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, no, she's levitating? <laughs> that works kind of bad there. It looks like her upper back is out. Yeah, she's harsh. She's like, she's still in pain. <laughs> My back is killing me! Hello, wait, you can't go alone! They didn't exactly ask Cecil. to tell us consent. Oh, it looks like Cecil was too slow for the high five and he just got back <laughs> up the way. Anyway, so the, the bard's name is Edward. In Japan, his name is Gilbert. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you decide what's the better name. <laughs> Edward, while a good natured fellow, it's a is a bitch. Like he's an outright pussy. Oh, uh, look at that! Everybody, that's a really stiff punishment for missing a high five. <laughs> My face. Your fault. <laughs> I can't help it, man. You were too slow. <laughs> anyway, so while, John, while John was going on about LPing for the blind, um. <laughs> All right, new vehicle, hovercraft. That's fucking out of left field. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really 
did as well. Think about it, man. <laughs> I know. I bought multiple copies of one arrow, thinking I had to, re you know, replenish them after a while. Nope, they're infinite. All you gotta do is buy them once, and you're good. The DS version trolled a lot of people, especially with the strategies too. <laughs> so another thing I want to show off: Whoa! if you select the ice rod as an item in your inventory, you'll actually do what a fuck that? an ice attack. Check it out, he's talking like Harry Mason. <laughs> And hello, oh, smoke. Leshy. Uh. Hey, try hitting on the smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a transparent bitch. Yeah, she has no death. You can see her right through her. Anyway. Have you ever played the um uh, PSP versions of Final Fantasy One and Two? I wouldn't touch them. Now why? You wouldn't touch them? I think. Uh, let me rephrase that. That was rather cruel. <laughs> I haven't touched them. Oh, I, I hate those. <laughs> <laughs> this harmless creature is known as the ant lion. Antlion. Antlion, or whatever. And it's, a, and it's a Final Fantasy staple, too. Is it? Yeah. Aliens are in a lot more Final Fantasies. Uh, four? There's the Alien in 9, there's one in Crystal Chronicles. There's another one, I believe, in 13. I've, in 13, don't quote me on that one. It's been a while since I even looked at the Beastiary for that piece of shit. Okay. Pretty sure they're By the way, uh, Matt hates 13. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we got the Sand Pro, so we're good here. We're using the emergency exit that we found in one of those chests, and we're out of here by spinning in place. And turning the screen yellow. Yes. I think we just got beat and pissed. <laughs> uh, golden shower, you say? Oh. <laughs> if, if, if lightning returns as golden shower is a spell, I'm questioning <laughs> Japan's game politics. <laughs> Maybe they just have the husk of a hoverboard. They actually uh, Flintstones their way across the desert. <laughs> 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 so anyway, we have the Sam Pro. We uh, talked to Rosa Johnny. to use it on her, and we're all good. Johnny D's tightened to, like, throw it everywhere. <laughs> With catapult technology, exactly. <laughs> they get on the husk of a hoverboard and launch their way back to <laughs> Kaipo. Oh man! Maybe she just stuck away. <laughs> she, maybe she was she an catapulted her way to Kaipo. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, what I think it was is like maybe Rosa was in Cecil's back pocket, like how where the other party members go in the um, world yeah. map. Yeah, you're right. And then she just fell out. <laughs> she got desert fever. Exactly. <laughs> Howard stops out to share the secret of the stars. And we're supposed to take a tinkle. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. That's a key plot point. Final Fantasy Nine. <laughs> Turn that fucking music down! <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Fucking spoony bar! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh damn it, Edward! You just can't catch a fucking break. You lost your girlfriend, and your music makes monsters appear. Now uh, I, I couldn't have told the first it was a monster. I mean, if anything else, I just thought he was gonna get robbed by a blue hoodlum. <laughs> This is these are medieval these are medieval thieves, dog. <laughs> Believe the heart, that's all I got. <laughs> Believe in the power of rock. He actually <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> oh god, what did I see in this man? <laughs> High five! <laughs> <laughs> this time around everybody cleared out a dodge before Cecil could chop him in the face. <laughs> I hope we don't take forever finding this Mount Hobbs. I mean, we've never even been to a mountainous location yet, and I think that we'll be spending a- Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to hovercraft technology. Where is Rosa's pants indeed? Actually, she's not wearing any pants, she's wearing a leotard. Wowzers. <laughs> I can see why Cecil has a fascination for her already. Actually, I can see why Kane has a fascination for her. I think Cecil would be too goddamn stupid to notice anything until Rosa jumped him. She doesn't know the meaning of pants. No, Ro no, Cecil doesn't even understand the meaning of women. <laughs> You're awfully friendly today. I hope we can be good friends. Cecil's like that nice guy who gets friend zoned by sheer fucking accident and thinks nothing of it. <laughs> Very good Mount music. Okay. So welcome to Mount Hobbs, ladies. Look, there's a skeleton. Yes, there is. Speaking of skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> we have gray bombs and bombs. Bomb, 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 bang, 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 yeah, they blow up. 99 damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it! Don't you hate that? Uh, you stop, in the middle of the road, I guess I work out a brain aneurysm. They keep having seizures. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? <laughs> oh, because already it's thunder lightning magic. <laughs> that shit ain't really supposed to be something you take right in the eyes. Ooh. Plot. I love Young. First and foremost, look at that fucking stash. 
Play Magic is normally overpowered in a lot of video games, but Final Fantasy IV really has put a good emphasis on it. Especially the DS version. Yeah. We already said it earlier, but if you're not crying and using slow, you're doing the game wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. How many tits does that thing have? I don't know. Let me One, count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, no, 16, Matt, 17, to me, 18, if it, if it 18, has to count, if, if it needs to be a tit, it has to have an areola and nipple. I don't see any of it. Johnny, this is this is also edited out for American releases. Matt, leave that is, Matt, that is just neck folds, man. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, bro, you, you, you have to understand that a lot of times that the, on the on the average, they'll edit shit out, they'll, they'll edit nipples out. Yeah, but they'll I, still show boob. I don't fucking get that. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are telling Yang that the uh, Goldbuzz's forces are on their way to Fabu to rob them of their what crystal was it? Damsian had the fire crystal, I believe. I thought that. No, I thought that. Really? Fire? I thought that was the. Mesidia yeah. had the crystal of water, was it? Oh, man, that's my water. Oh, uh, let me see. Crystal of water, wind, earth, fire. Yay, yeah, an epic RPG where you gotta collect four treasures of the elements. I've never heard that one before. Whoa, wait a second! Meanwhile, Han Monk Young has joined the party. Yes, and but none of his associates. They were horribly murdered. Yeah. That's what happens when you go pick in a fight with a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, yeah, you're badass, but you're not that badass. <laughs> we got our bomb defuser here, Young. <laughs> well, he, he's not even dressed for the occasion, he's just a monk. Exactly. <laughs> My mustache will protect me. Why not? That would, I feel. Why not? I feel like I can sleep safely in bed knowing that mustache is protecting me. <laughs> Does he do chin ups with it? Huh? <laughs> does he tie his uh, beard to the pole and do chin ups with it? No, he does push ups, <laughs> but he doesn't do it without his arms. He just has the mustache he just push him up. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> You know Pokemon Platinum where you fight a scum tank? Yeah. It looks whenever it does flamethrower, it looks like it's literally shitting out a stream of <laughs> fire from its anus. <laughs> Have you ever seen that round L Street 4? <laughs> Luckily man. though, I can give credit to Final Fantasy 4 that you can run away from battles really quickly. I know. Like I, the, most of the it time. It doesn't work like that on a DS Lite that whose shoulders buttons are busted. Oh <laughs> you put a handicap on yourself. I had <laughs> to no make choice. sure you don't run away. I'm going to take this hammer to your DS yeah, and exactly. smash your shoulder buttons. No, nope. Master Young, the king wishes to see you. I can imagine that actually making me go back because I'd see it down and be like, oops. <laughs> oh, I forgot the anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, ripping off. The Wait, girls. Oh, oh, so there were menorahs. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, Hanukkah ended a few about a week ago, actually. Jewish monk. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So it's gonna be seven days of ass beating. <laughs> I want to give up my dark sword and become a good guy. Demon armor at a bargain price. <laughs> Sign me up. Sounds like Ford is good with that shit. <laughs> anyway, this is Yang's wife, woman. <laughs> 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 no, his name, her name is actually Shelia. By the way, we don't see Cecil on them out there, so it's sort of like he's talking to the other fragments in his head. Because <laughs> that's the last thing everybody needs, a monk with bipolar disorder. Uh, what do you call this piece of brain this time, honey? Cecil? <laughs> <laughs> and the lower right is Rydia. Why does everybody's bald here except his wife? Unless she's bald downstairs, thank God. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. I think that woman just got like a face full of cock. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a, okay. Why is he practicing stealth? He's practicing. He's trying to get in touch with his true self. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're blocked by the fucking boy. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, one of Baron's strongest knights came here and said, "Hey, we're gonna attack you." <laughs> no hard feelings, right? <laughs> Collect call from Cecil. <laughs> yeah, I got a rage tomorrow. Just give me a Skype. heads up. <laughs> Skype. <laughs> I mean, they have hovercrafts and airships. I, I can mean, imagine the King of Baron at this point. Follow me on Twitter at the Drunk King. <laughs> Signed, King of Baron. <laughs> Ye oldie Twitter. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, we're doing a pretty shitty job holding them back. Uh, not since Final Fantasy V have I seen such incompetence. And why did the air and why did the airships suddenly stop attacking? From? Maybe they are attacking when we're just deeper in. But the screen's not vibrating. Well, maybe you edited it out. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> Why would you edit out the killing? <laughs> I edit out tasteless jokes, <laughs> not violence. <laughs> this from the guy who, let me, who left in bed, Juju. That was you that said that. <laughs> yeah, and you left it in. <laughs> because you were... <laughs> bad Juju, you never heard of that term? <laughs> yeah, it's a legendary Jewish warrior. <laughs> 
Shut up, man. <laughs> Just stop. Edward, oh no! You fell in battle, you useless shit! Edward tripped, causing the music to change for the worse. Oh, he tripped. Poor creature. He broke his nose. And now he can't find his contacts. <laughs> <laughs> this is Golbez. Ever since I heard his voice at the city, I can't imagine it any other way. Hey, completely agree. Right with you. Although uh, I have to admit, he's still kind of, no, Although, no, I think about it, he sounds like the old black guy who used to do the Bella Lana commercials. <laughs> James Earl Jones? Yeah. <laughs> he fucking darted <laughs> Vader. <laughs> I always best. did that every time I did his ZX burst. <laughs> Get unlimited broadband access for $4.95! This is CNN. <laughs> 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 he's doing the meteor attack. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. That's a, a sexy, sexy voice. I agree. For, uh, but for still something hilarious to think yeah. about. <laughs> you know, Kane, I can temporarily bar her to you. We can <laughs> tie all loose ends. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rosa, yeah, she's uh, here for her for a night. Go ahead. Well, let me see. Let him sleep with my girlfriend. Spear to the head. Uh, kind of weighing my options here. Which spear? <laughs> the, 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 oh. <laughs> it's the Dragoon Spear. Oh. No, wait, that's, even, that's do... even more provocative. Yeah, right? Uh, uh, well, What's he going to do? Introduce Rosa to the Longinus? <laughs> Rosa, ready for some Gungnir action? <laughs> <laughs> now we got to hurry up and get over there before Rosa gets to Gungnir. <laughs> She's, he, he, Kane says something about Genji. Genji style. That bastard. He wouldn't. I, I see somebody's been boning up on their machine <laughs> in the bedroom. <laughs> Suddenly, Octomath is back. Uh, no. Rydia, once again, has attracted a tentacle monster. Uh, Japan. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. Pucker me port side. <laughs> it's my ass. Leviathan. And once again, Rydia looks at Cecil and calls him a jinx. <laughs> Jake, what the fuck? Sea God? Really? <laughs> That's... Okay. I see what you're doing up there. You really hate me, do you? <laughs> Cecil's like, God damn, the path out of hell is long and hard. <laughs> oh, God, they're all dead by the Sea God. The fucking Sea God. What a way to go out. <laughs> and Cecil once again fathoms his bad luck. Oh, man. But where could we have ended up, I wonder? Well, we're not going to find out until next part. It looks like the Kaka Peninsula. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I thought it all existed through myths and legends. No, Anyways, sorry. let's see where we ended up. Drink of anguish. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up in fucking Mysidia. Wow. Ooh. What? Tune in next week. Attention, more. everybody. No hard feelings? Yeah, right. <laughs> Get him! Ah! Dude, Why did they get those pitches and torch for uh, pitch Tune forks? in next week when we see Malcolm X in Alabama. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so yeah, there are there are actually a total of I think three. Bacon, the bacon of Baron. The bacon. <laughs> there you go. I knew it was only a matter of time. Hi, Purim. Hi, Palum. I think I killed your mother. <laughs> did I kill your mother yet? Oh, give us some time. <laughs> <laughs> You're adorable. Okay, so we have a black and white mage with us again. And oh. we just turned back and we just put on our pig suits. Let me put my suit back on. <laughs> Bacon! Uh, you Dude, look at what the, check out the kids. So it looks like they're doing those little paper mis paper uh, pyramids. <laughs> Who will be my in my love life choose number first seven go? Six! <laughs> anyway, so similar to Mount Hobbs. So apparently Blizzard is causes a disco rave. <laughs> So, uh, what were you own. saying to me, Kane, earlier? Uh, uh, Gungir, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now we got Scarmelio, one of the four elemental arc fiends, which is basically four fiends under an arc. Anyway. Hence, <laughs> <laughs> arc fiends. <laughs> Scarmelion, or if you ever, if you only if you only played the original uh, Super Nintendo translation in America, Mylan. That's a hell of a fucking drop. <laughs> That's like calling Kaiser Dragon Ted or something. <laughs> or rhubarb. <laughs> rhubarb. The Kaiser rhubarb Dragon. The <laughs> original character do not steal. <laughs> what the shit? Oh, suddenly Tella. I guess he got lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They say that casting meteor 
cause a, cast, uh, cause so much vitality that in Tella's old age, it'll pretty much kill him if he casts it. Right. But Tella doesn't care, because fuck it, I'm old. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> the guy's already got enough problems pissing dust as it is. <laughs> pissing dust? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> anyway, we encounters. We have Blood Bones and we have Lilith over there. I can see your ass crack. She has plumber's ass. ass. Fuck ass crack. That's ass. <laughs> the ultimate plumber's crack. <laughs> hey, could you get that? Thanks a lot. Could you get that? Thanks a lot. Uh, we have to get rid of the silence on uh, poor forum. So let's. So let's use this as wrath. Yes. <laughs> Zeus, help me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, same strategy applies to pretty much every other zombie character. Just use fire to get rid of the uh, skull nits. Uh, Skullnelian. Uh, Scar me. Skullnelian. I'm sorry, get the, the fusion. I'm waiting for Skullazarn. <laughs> <laughs> Skullnit. <laughs> uh, Interestingly enough, despite being the Arc Fiend of Earth, Skarmeleon doesn't really have any Earth magic. No, he really doesn't. In fact, the only reason he made it to this point is probably because they needed somebody <laughs> dead to fill the hole. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Wraith, no. Skullnit, no. Uh, maybe Skullnit. Uh, hold on to them for a second. Uh, zombies, uh, two of them done. <laughs> None special about it either. Wraiths, uh, come on, people! <laughs> Scarmillion looks a shitload bigger than this game, though. You there, what's your name? Mylan. Mylan! Uh, Scarmillion. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about da Dante's Inferno on that pl mystical planet Earth. Uh, You're by, right. <laughs> by the way, uh, in, the, in the SNES version, uh, in this form, he's called Mylan Z. <laughs> Mylans? Yeah, you know, like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, uh, I was thinking of Mylans. <laughs> I guess you could say Golbez was really trying to get his Mylans to the Gowan. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> By the way, I like that. to imagine when he fell, he did like the Wily e. Coyote, they kind of like a Wily e. Coyote transition of it. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> My son, I... Son! <laughs> I'm the son of a tombstone? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Gonna make the family reunion all the more weirder. <laughs> Gotta drag his ass all the way to the fucking Baron. <laughs> but it turns out that not only had Cecil became a paladin, but the Talon must have learned meteor just by watching a pillar. <laughs> he was so amazed. <laughs> no, he studied the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride the truckable up there, and then I'm gonna cut back to when I'm done grinding, and now we're heading back to Mysidia for plot. Okay, so then a whole bunch of exposition was next to pointless. <laughs> I like to imagine Cecil just like doing like the whole cock thrust right in front of them, like yeah, yeah, in your face, in your face, in your face. Y'all can suck it. You okay there, Matt? See, this is exactly the reason why I want to get a futon. Oh, I'm at, totally at, good. At the old Bro, I am aces. Those, I am rocking the aces. All those couch movements are picking up on the mic. Oh. So now the, the audience is now wondering, were you just molested by a balloon? <laughs> no, I molested the balloon. Oh, okay. Well, no balloon molests me. So that can wait. <laughs> Yeah, this is apparently engraved in the blade itself. Well, I need to hold on to this for the ultimate weapon? <laughs> I can imagine he has to read one half on the one side, and they ran out of space, so they had to flip the sword over to read it. Can you imagine that thing being like one of those, like, one of those, um, ice creams? What? Like, uh, <laughs> no, like, he takes, he, he has to remove the handle and sees the rest of it on the other end the, of the blade. I thought the sword was the popsicle stick. <laughs> like, one of those things, like, oh, do you want to hear a joke kind of thing? <laughs> but, uh... Hallelujah! 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 So Pray to the moon! Tower of Prayer. In the Super Nintendo version, it's called the Tower of Wishes, because... religion. Uh-huh. Yeah, we have Holy and Darkness. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't called Holy back in the SNES. Pearl? Called White. Oh. No, Final Fantasy IV was called White. It wasn't, it wasn't called Pearl until Final Fantasy VI. I think it was only called Pearl in Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> <laughs> so this is double Holy Pearl. shit! Devil's Rule will warp us immediately to Baron. I spy with my little eyes something that's blue. It's been water, Palum. It's been fucking water the whole damn game. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, uh, memories. Remember that time when I fucked everything up and destroyed their lives? <laughs> and then I abducted a little girl. Hey, I went in the fireplace? <laughs> and now I'm in her house. And now I'm robbing her. What an asshole! I can actually find... Something as a bit of an homage to the bomb attack. Bomb fragments. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look what I found. Ah! Hey, let's put this in the album. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what determines Yang's health for this one, but he has a shit ton of it. 
it's a Charleston. Uh, maybe. Actually, actually, I, I, I just thought of it now. We're actually attacking his mustache. <laughs> and, then we're, and then we're focusing on uh, Yang himself. But everybody from now on, we're required to have a stash. Fuck even yeah. The, even the females. <laughs> I'll wait. Do you, are you really specific where the female stash is? No, just it has to be on your lips. Oh, okay, thank goodness. On your face. Better the face than the badge. <laughs> Who wants handlebars when they're eating cooch? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, there you go. God damn! <laughs> I'm surprised the whole bar isn't up in flames. <laughs> Let's see what they what got. Do you think we'll be a oh, damn it, Cecil! You can't be a paladin if you're stealing from people, dude. That kind of defeats the purpose. Mine. Mine. Hello. <laughs> what do you got here? <laughs> so, the hero with two children, a kick ass monk, and a geezer. Set off to take back the kingdom of Baron. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware of watching a Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> That's a lot of fishies! Fishy <laughs> fishy! Damn you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if you were going to bring that up. <laughs> For the sake of this LP, I grinded a bit so we won't have to spend too long on any particular sort of battle. And the Giga Skater, which is remarkably small. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the sewers of Baron? You know what? We might as well be. I can imagine Sasa looking down going, I ate that two weeks ago. <laughs> Baron's bad cave. <laughs> <laughs> it's Baron's shit depository. <laughs> Baron's poop depository. Give it a few more years. That's too modern. Water so clean you can drink out of. I, I want to do that, pal. <laughs> Put that down! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, I love post commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Paolo and Paul aren't buying it. Neither are we. <laughs> oh, ow! <laughs> oh, yeah. and, and there goes the traitorous Bygan. Bygan is Bygone Bygan. <laughs> Let's let bygones be bygan. Oh. Well said. Stairs, what the fuck? Somebody farted. It is sealed by an invisible force. I guess we're not going that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you attempt to leave the castle uh, via the gate on the south, the guards will just say, leave it once, even though you're on the opposite side of the tower. <laughs> uh, so don't worry about, you know, approaching the guards near the Leave gate. it once. Stay in our home. <laughs> we're going to be good housekeepers. Hey, hey you. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Oh, the old duffer who died. <laughs> I killed him years ago. <laughs> Don't you remember the Twitter about the drowned king? <laughs> <laughs> but when he's conjuring up water like that, cast any sort of thunder spell to break the barrier. So basically, he's weak to Blizzard, but thunder breaks the barrier. Yes. That's what you just said, my fault. Yeah. <laughs> So let me get this straight. You put the lie with the coconut? <laughs> no, then you mix it up. up. And he's going Gag back to hell. <laughs> Gagnazo is defeated. In defense mode. Too bad we don't... Too bad Golbats don't lose any life points. No. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. only just standing there waiting until Cecil got done all this dirty work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was watching. He's rooting from behind the doors. <laughs> no, he was hiding behind the door. Then he busted in after Gagnazo died. <laughs> How old is Tello, though? Uh, fucking ancient. <laughs> Tello was probably around when the dinosaurs were created. Can't fit that in the state ID. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my social security number. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Just behind Montgomery Burns and Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so Sid's tagging along with us, but there's six in our party now. We can't have six players in our party. I think it's time we killed somebody off. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what the game's trying to tell us. Kane is getting the idea that they should let Cecil and the others grab the last crystal on Earth, and they'll exchange the crystal for Rose's safety. Rose's safety, my ass. <laughs> Kane, why are you doing this? Because I'm tired of the front zone! Ah, <laughs> uh, underground. And there goes the city of Baron. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So Kane, Kane you here, motherfucker. Kane is pretty much here to tell us mine's better. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 actually, no. He's, he's yeah, he is. Cecil's Length like with. My seat's <laughs> not like Cecil. He demands the Earth Crystal in exchange for Rose's safety. Of course, these guys think he's a coward for doing so, but who cares? Kane is pretty much going like, la 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you! <laughs> the 
but uh our next destination is Troya. Twa. T R O I A. Isn't that how it's pronounced in French? Twa. On de Twa. That's that's the number. Yeah, it's a number, but it's also Twa, ain't it? I I, I, no, do tre. No, tre is um Spanish. Twa is France. Say it. Rocket woke me up, so I can see that you're wrong. <laughs> oh, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, having fun with something, dude. So you're fun? wrong. Wrong. I like to see my food dance before I eat it. Mm. I'm not a fan of. Fun, you want to? We want to make sure that bacon is sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for playing! <laughs> okay, now we're heading to Eblin Castle. Eblin? Eblin. Christ! Castle of Ninjas. Now. Are we gonna go kill Edge's parents? No, we're not gonna kill Edge's parents. Who's Edge? Edge? Anyway. The uh, wrestler. Oh. <laughs> you think you know him? <laughs> nope, I don't know. And now we find Omega Weapon. Fuck! <laughs> Should have took that ten thousand dollars. Omega Weapon could be bribed for ten thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that's so. Shuya, can right. you actually put off on destroying the world, pretty please? Here's a hundred and fifty thousand kill. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Shuya sounded like that. I thought he'd be more whiny. Uh. <laughs> well, how do you think a weapon should sound like? <laughs> uh huh. One week later, we're actually uploading new parts. Say it isn't so! Son of a bitch, what's next? Another Sea God attack? I don't... Yeah, this goes for a celebration. Genocide for everyone! <laughs> Yay! Leviathan certainly approves. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Poor Cecil. Can you forgive me? Hey, don't ignore me. I'm not good enough for you suddenly. Uh -oh. oh god. Now without a plastic bag. <laughs> oh, <but> no. <laughs> okay. And Cecil's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and then one of them turns into Cognazzo again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Cecil feels funny in his pants for the first time since Rosa. Meanwhile, in the Tower of Zod. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine Rubicon somewhere in the back, sitting down, enjoying a drink, looking at us and going, This man is our foe? <laughs> Take it off! <laughs> <laughs> Rubicon tries to throw his underwear to the crowd and it ends up being a fireball. <laughs> Black Chocobos actually have the capabilities of flight. Get it? The birds can fly, who knew? But, I liked uh, how they were a little less enthusiastic than the average joke about they're like quack quack <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Since we already visited the village of uh, Mithro earlier, there's nothing Troya can offer Mithril. us. Mithro, Mithro, tomato, tomato. That's the cue card say anyway. But uh well, that's what your script says? <laughs> Mine says Matt at five forty five, bend over, relax muscles. Huh. <laughs> Chad, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> okay, well, it, the Kingdom of Troya is actually ruled by women, not men. That would explain the piece. They probably nagged all the men to death. <laughs> <laughs> the, the mythical abilities of Whispering allows it to... to allow sound to travel long distances. So it's a fucking telephone? It, yeah, it's a walkie-talkie. <laughs> it's a telephone for grass. <laughs> you know, I think claw, I think metallic. Well, there's such thing as wooden claws. There are bone claws, I guess. Bone claws, bear claws. The pastry? <laughs> Holy shit! He attacks with pastries. He attacks with pastries? You said bear claw. <laughs> I imagine this thing dying of a heart attack. <laughs> Quiet, motherfucker. <laughs> I first learned it was Kashi from the Final Fantasy VII Ultimatum Guide. I don't know if you ever had that. I've only heard about that, I don't have that. I've, it's actually a really rare strategy guide that fetches for pretty high prices on the internet. Because it pretty much explain plot elements. Well, one, it's, it is said in mythical lore that if you have the Final Fantasy VIII Ultimatum, <laughs> it'll actually make sense of the plot. <laughs> Tell me more! <laughs> <laughs> sounds like something, sounds like something lost the powers when you dial out for, randomly. Oh, boy, be looking at Cave Naja! <laughs> <laughs> they're afraid to ice because they're cold-blooded creatures. Indeed, indeed, baby. 
<laughs> enjoying that couch, Matt. Huh? You're enjoying that couch a little oh, too much. Oh, fuck yeah! You're gonna help me get a futon. My new futon, because you broke my old one. Uh, I'm gonna break the new one, too. You're gonna help me get the new one, because you broke my old <laughs> one, you fat fuck. <laughs> Check it out, it's the prototype Bongo Bongo. <laughs> what? <laughs> the second was the Sparta, it was kind of like the same as the uh, Cycloptic Bongo Bongo. Bongo Bongo? From... Do 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 I I just wanna make sure we're on the same page. You're Bongo Bongo? From Do 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 Fuck you, man. I don't see the enough time! I don't that doesn't look anything like Bongo Bongo to me. No, it's just the formation. It was hanging upside down like this. It was all you was separated hands. Fucking Andros before I think of Succubus Sprite. Succubus Sprite Bongo Bongo Bongo. Actually, the first thing that popped into my head was Oingo Boingo, Danny Elfman's band. Oingo Boingo! <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, here's the Dark Elf. And to all those Final Fantasy aficionados, it's actually... The design of the Dark Elf is actually the same as the Dark Elf enemy from Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> what? It looks like a woman who got shunned by the village. <laughs> Get my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck recovery. I need the power of rock. <laughs> I want rock. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Insert joke of what kind of music Dark Elf is listening to now. Anybody who makes a Justin Bieber post, you're predictable. So be, be a little more creative. With that said, I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm relying on you, the subscribers, <laughs> to give me the best answer you can best. And now, this is how far we've fallen, ladies and gentlemen. Super Gaming Brothers, where we can't even make our own jokes. <laughs> and we got the Earth Crystal back. We actually did our jobs. Huzzah! Seth was like, finally, my luck's improving. <laughs> I'm going to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to deliver the Earth Crystal back to the Kingdom of Troia. Well, I'm pretty sure nothing could possibly go wrong. Wink, 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 <laughs> wink, nudge, wink. Nudge, What the fuck was that last bit? That was me attempting to whistle, but my lips were too dry. <laughs> 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 Alright, greetings ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part 10 of the Final Fantasy IV Let's Play. We got a beefy amount for us, and that's all because Cecil's trying to run from that old hag. <laughs> So we have the Earth Crystal, but, you know... We're right in the middle of Cecil's Nine Virgins. <laughs> was busy here! Eight Virgins, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're counting Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Poor Cecil's all like, son of a bitch! <laughs> this was like one of the few dungeons I remember seeing where those asshole monsters would show up that had like the ha that had like the spells that took off half your health every goddamn time. We might be Firestorm and Ice Storm. We might be seeing them later on. Call, uh, it, a boy. Call it a hunch. But I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Fuck you, DS. Anyway, gremlins, as we saw in the battle, are weak to fire, so hack away with Cecil's Fireblade. Cecil, we gotta do something about those rampant seizures of yours. <laughs> <laughs> if you talk to one of the ladies in Troya, the, one of the guards in Troya, it says that their armor doesn't leave a lot, leaves a lot to be desired in terms of protection. But it's oh, yeah. very slimming and leaves. It's very fashion fashionable. Ah, so basically they don't really care if a man looks at them and gropes them. <laughs> well, I don't know about groping, but groping may have been a bit of a strong word. A groping with the eye. A visual distraction. There you go. While he's looking at his, t while he's looking at her tits, she's chopping his head off. <laughs> he dies with a smile on his face. <laughs> Whoa! Look at Butterball. <laughs> hey, the Maga sisters. Maga sisters. Mindy. Sunday. 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 <laughs> and Troy. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Does it rhyme? <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's boss battle time. So now we got a boss battle between these three. As you can no doubt tell, Mindy's the kid, Sa Sandy's the leader, and Cindy's the man. <laughs> <laughs> She's a tall bitch. That she is. That's a huge bitch! <laughs> Future star of the WNBA. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, shit. Holy shit! Golbez just as thus Golbez's anger made him grow several sizes that day. <laughs> okay, so this is what Golbez looks like in battle sprite form, anyway. And in fucking the city of Jesus Christ, the guy is masked compared to Cecil. <laughs> Booyah! Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> 
but how could you know Meteor? Too many people know Meteor. <laughs> <Meteor's planet. laughs> Uh, the Kindle's broken. <laughs> Check <Take> off. <laughs> Waste of time. I lost myself in my own hatred. Please avenge my daughter. Oh, <laughs> oh God. And thus Tala died, his bowels voided. <laughs> Poor Tala. Yeah. Well, he didn't exactly avenge anybody. <laughs> what is this cappuccino machine going off? <laughs> no, it was supposed to be like the death whoosh. So now it's up to us to avenge. Wait, wait, what about Kala? It's locked. Okay, fine, we'll look through them. Hey, Kane, look at this shit! <laughs> <laughs> I love Cecil to tap, tap into his inner thug, you know? Actually, uh, so Roses will save the nick of time in the uh, Super Nintendo American version. It was censored out, uh, it wasn't, so it wasn't, uh, some sort of axe so was a metallic ball. <laughs> really? <laughs> Back then we were so anal about it we had to censor our axes for balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, oh, somebody hit the wrong button. Come on, B.O. What? <laughs> I like to imagine somebody hit like the wrong button on a game show. <laughs> the Lord of Wind. Barbisha! Barbarisha. Barbarisha, yeah. Ba 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 barisha. <laughs> Tower of Zod is collapsing on itself. Where is the motherfucker? I was never clear on where the Tower of Zod was at. I like to imagine somewhere it's Zod. What is Zot? Sounds like Zit. Oh uh, well. Move the O and replace with an I I guess. Actually it's a cartoon euphemism for a sound effect. How wax on it. <laughs> it's here that we find out that there's not only four earth crystals, but there's also four dark crystals. A counterpart to the four light crystals. Indeed. Into that. And they're located underground. In the underworld. Or going to hell! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. uh, right, Rose and Rosa will still never wear any pants. So how do we get to the underworld? We call Jack. <laughs> Guys, what about the shovels? We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> I can see Kane just jumping and then digging <laughs> with the shovel. Yeah. <laughs> all throughout this night, Kane watched Rose asleep. <laughs> High five! Well, there's kind of no ceiling here. In fact, there's kind of there's nothing around the bedroom. It's kind of a blue void. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Did someone see void? Well, Johnny, what are you doing? This uh, well, there's two. Minutes. Yeah, I know. Hey, Final Fantasy IX throwback. <laughs> oh, you jinx! You... Cecil, what did you do?! <laughs> Son of a bitch, I just dropped the key in the well! <laughs> you fucking jinx! <laughs> no, on a serious note, no, this is what we need to do. Oh, for once our bad luck saves yeah. us? <laughs> now we're going to hell. Final Fantasy IV, Cecil goes to hell. This brings a whole new meaning. This brings uh, a whole new meaning. <laughs> oh fuck! We can't catch a break. Uh, <laughs> Cecil, you jinx! <laughs> it's not a horror movie. It's a war movie. <laughs> who for who wrote this shit? Dude, it's a good thing we haven't landed any magma. Oh, don't count Cecil out of it yet. <laughs> Dude, fucking met Seagot on a goddamn ship. This guy's like bad luck, Brian. <laughs> Why was Cecil the only one I cut? What a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is just fine. I think it's because somebody gave him a high five when he wasn't looking. <laughs> Hopefully, we ain't gotta fight him. La Leo. King Joe. <laughs> Gay Yo. He said Day Yo. <laughs> All together now. Daylight Cub, baby, wanna go home. <laughs> Battle between the facial hairs, I want to see that. You're against Stash. Johnny. Place your bets. That's it. Triple threat match. Sid, Sid versus Young versus Dwarf King. Jion. No, 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 no. Just Play with Battle on the Big Bridge. Just their facial hair. Exactly. <laughs> with Battle on the Big Bridge in the background. <laughs> Fuck it. No. Something's afoot. Yang. Young is jealous. Yang's mustache senses something. <laughs> I can imagine, like, it points it. <laughs> 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 Rosa was going to hear what he was saying because he was laughing. Johnny was wondering if Yang's whiskers stood up on end. <laughs> Hiya! Hello! Hiya! 
Yo. <laughs> the rebel. <laughs> can you, I can imagine four of them fighting with dolls, and then, like, they just stop dead in their tracks. Like, when the people come in, they just stop in their tracks, and there's Kane trying to fend one of them off with a spear. <laughs> However, if you take too long, they combine, and that's where the real boss battle begins. Yeah, do you think, yeah, they summon Doll Captain Planet. <laughs> with their powers combined. <laughs> WARRIOR! Bobas is like, I'm still bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> it did do a lot of damage, though. Huh. Damn it, I go poof! <laughs> <laughs> what kind of death was that? Golbez now scatters among the wind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's in that Golbez's... It's Golbez's hand! It's, hand. <laughs> it's Thing! <laughs> From the Adam's family. And now, welcome to a surprise Let's Play of A Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> and look at Cecil like, dude, I should do something. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> wow. I don't have any Geisha greens, though. Oh, luckily there's some Geisha. Geisha. No, Geisha. 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 I love Fast Target just for what it implies. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> And then, it was, it was, now you just put an image in my head of Rose and nagging Cecil. <laughs> no, boy, Fast Talker was the one that allowed you to cast Magic Quicker, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, and then, can you imagine that shit on somebody like Boomhauer? Oh, yeah, then I go, oh, fuck, man, I'm gonna give you the ultimate boom. Boom. Cecil is aroused. <laughs> He's got the third lightning returns Final Fantasy 13, aside from her taking the game back. I mean I heard the very premise of it and I kind of felt stupid. Yeah. Because I'm sitting here thinking to myself, okay, so the game takes place two hundred years in the future after Caius defeats the guys. And I'm thinking to myself, Caius destroyed all of fucking time. How the hell are we two hundred years in the future? <laughs> ah, the dwarven Kama Sutra. This is the only item that gets that unique fanfare. <laughs> It's the it's the uh, dwarven Kama Sutra. <laughs> they specifically program <laughs> Umatsu compose a theme for when you pick up the board magazine. I don't fucking blame him. You, you're fun. reading it? Yeah, we're reading it. Why not? This is what I call great literature. So that's why I think he had the balls. Can you imagine dwarven porn actually just being a really fetishistic battle axe? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Thorn of the lightning. Thorn of the lightning. Holy. Thorn of the weapons. weapons. Weak against all nighters. <laughs> Scared of girls with specs. Really weak. No <laughs> shit. Impossible. And then he runs away. I would have loved no, it if you did this right after you got. Himself. I would have loved it if you got that right before you met Edge. Over one of the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I would have actually liked it if the developers trolled us and the second just crashed the game. <laughs> now you fight Sakaguchi and you just play him with all We Ultima. got a porn magazine for beating him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, might as well make the most of it now. You're gonna have Rydia read it? Why not? Eh, why not? Women have sexual needs. It's an axe. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's that so it appears. Isn't that great literature? <laughs> Good. We're actually not gonna begin to talk about Babel in this part. Yeah, too much porn. Yeah. <laughs> Cecil like... needs a nap. <laughs> Uh, I remember when I used to be able to do that four times a day without a nap. Age. It's great to know, Matt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I always wash my hands. <laughs> I wasn't looking forward to that hot pocket anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Shiva, who looks like a fucking glam rocker. Yeah, Jester. No, looking more like a glam rocker from the 80s. Just... Are you ready to rock? <laughs> <laughs> They're supposed to draw attention, and apparently... Apparently we're not thinking this through because it's hard to draw their attention when we just walk right in through the front door. <laughs> There's only one entrance. Exactly. 
Mystery eggs, on the other hand, are rather similar. You attack the egg, and it hatches, and then it hatches an enemy. The enemy, I think, is completely random. It's a, it's always a monster inside the Tower of Babel, but it can also be a potentially rare encounter. Oh yeah, I remember one time I hatched and I got a grand fucking dragon or uh, something like yeah, that. Yeah, you probably got the green dragon. Yeah, I did, and I thought to myself, really? <laughs> can you imagine Cecil playing the lottery and he ends up destroying the world? <laughs> All the treasure boxes in those singular rooms are... Monster, monster in boxes. boxes that are always security eyes. Monster in a box? That's a monster in a box? Monster in a box? Ugh. Ultros, or Orthros, returns as a plan in that game. To actually make him appear, you have to... Hello. If Sorry, folks, I got a little distracted <laughs> by the flaming gin. <laughs> Mystery A, what's inside it this time? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> what's inside it? Oh, my... <laughs> Johnny, what are you doing? Here? I don't know, but I hate rooms like this in games because it makes me think there's a purpose to this room, but it ends up no no nothing. Is there a purpose to that room? Is there an enemy that you can only encounter in that room? Yes, I want to know. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly enough, Ted was completely wrong when he said that in, doc in one of the earlier commentaries. That was actually what Mara was supposed to look like. The three fairy, the three thi the entire design. Are you talking about penis monster? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a chariot dick demon, but it's actually, it's actually. <laughs> But it's actually oh, sorry, it's actually a Sri Lankan demon seen riding over <laughs> Karamakala. The chariot is to represent humans' golden desires. The blades are supposed to represent the violent, and the dick is supposed to represent sexual. <laughs> this is this is Shimigami Tensei and Persona. Shimigami Tensei and Persona. But, but frankly, <laughs> Japan is weird. No, but that's actually what it was. <laughs> oh, so man. they actually did their research. I on know, that I know, I know. It's but just, it's hard to look at it. I, I can't look at it. Yeah. <sighs> By the way, did you know that one of did you know that it's it was the Tower Arcanum? Arcanum specializing in piercing attacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Meanwhile, who's galloping geezer over here? This is Blue Pickles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this doctor is now manually controlling Barnabas. Now he's Barnabas Z. If we defeat him one more time, he will be Barnabas GT, and then we'll be uh, what's the name of the other one? Oh yeah, the fan made uh, Barnabas AF. Yeah, but see, here's this thing. Unlike unlike what most fans want to believe, though, Barnabas GT is actually strictly fanning. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, anyway, we're summoning Rat huh? Yeah, <laughs> Rat <-boo. laughs> That was his beard, by the way. We saw. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, Yang has to concede defeat. Stop All right. that, Johnny. What's that? I just realized. Lur, yeah, he's a booger. Yeah, <laughs> what a real snot. Yeah, but seriously, you're right. Find time for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> to the control room. Tomorrow. <laughs> High five, guys. Nope. Uh, Cecil, the mission. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the control room. And then the world ends because long. you took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot. We killed three of them, but they didn't exactly kill them yet, and they, uh -huh. as a desperation act, could break the control, so yeah, now we can't stop the cannon from firing. Yang, on the other hand, won't have any of that. He says, I'm going to break it more to get it to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. A quick high five and Cecil's out the room. <laughs> God damn, what a high five. Oh, Son of a bitch, boy. we're fighting an organ. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's one thing I didn't like about the Iron Giant. One of the only flaws I can think about that animated film is when the kids fall off the skyscraper, the, the building, the Iron Giant catches them. Okay, you didn't hit the concrete, but you did land on the giant fucking yeah, metal right. hand. <laughs> it's still gonna hurt. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> Vin Diesel's greatest role. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that was Vin Diesel. Yeah, that was. Oh wow! <laughs> Proves that he does his best work when he doesn't fucking talk. <laughs> we can't shake the red wing. Honestly, it looks like the red wings are trying to shake us. <laughs> uh, we just lost Sid and Yang, all in one part. New, a new record. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Great music, not really fitting. <laughs> it's like it's like when Aerith dies of Final Fantasy VII and you decide to play Ketchy's theme. <laughs> against Genova Life. Yeah. <laughs> no. Geno against Genova Life, you choose to play the Harlem Globetrotters theme. <laughs> What's the resemblance? They're basketballs. Uh, no, wait, I'm sorry, that's Genova. Um, that's, 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 yeah, I was going to say that's it. <laughs> Anyway, so before we honor Sid's wishes to go to Baron for some reason... Let's tell his wife that we murdered his husband. <laughs> let's, 
<laughs> we broke him. <laughs> <laughs> Tower of Babel, you mean bitch sticker? <laughs> He deserves the overly mad oh, meme. Okay. All right, but claws? You mean bitch mittens? <laughs> we're, we're, anyway, so what we got installed is a hook or a crane, grabby grabby thingy. Crane grabby grabby, grabby thingy. thingy. Yeah, whatever. Crane <laughs> yeah, pendant. But anyway, it allows. I like us to imagine they were just flying a crane game right there. It allows. Us to, I got a hovercraft. So that's what that's ours. I know. Uh, by the way, I'd like to sort of imagine that they're all just like lifting their hands up, giving them high fives. What the? uh... Yeah, like, come here, give us a high five. No! <laughs> and they die. Because <laughs> we know how dreaded high fives are in this world. <laughs> ah, steel bulbs. Uh, these are we dice. I know that for a fact. Just they got enough HP. Oh, never mind. Kablooey. <laughs> anyway, we got probably, pretty much the most annoying enemies in the Bats! England. Bats. Fucking bats! Because you always fight six of them at a time, and they only do blood suck. Which takes forever to do. And they all, and that's all they do. Is, uh, is it just... Hey Johnny, can you imagine if there were the uh, bisexual vamps? Cock sucked, cock sucked. Hey, oh. <laughs> no, but seriously, and they do it six times. Too. Seriously, can you imagine a bat enemy named Vamp? Not what? even a, you don't even need a Metal Gear Solid Two reference. <laughs> Just a bat enemy named Vamp. Vamp. Holy shit! We are vampires, but we are pro choice. <laughs> now give me your cock. Wait, pro choice? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we're gay rights. <laughs> Blah! Yeah, uh, it's been a while since I've been in the cave of Evelyn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you come here routinely on your vacations? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do like this rock. <laughs> you can't get any fire choice of rock. Fuck Georgia, I'm going to the cave of Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the bats. I hear they suck cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Monster in a box, what do we have? Monster Who's in a box? box! How did they fit in a box? Uh... Is it a really big box? Uh, zip treasure box. <laughs> zip treasure box that are running a red pile? <laughs> okay, fuck it. I'll, I, I hate this model fancy. Any kind of reason to go out the door there. Meanwhile, we're fighting the Edge and Rubicante. Oops. Sorry about getting distracted, folks, but we do love Final <laughs> Fantasy 7. And Edge looks about as effective as a one legged man in an ass kicking contest. <laughs> Edge isn't thinking at all. No, Edge isn't really thinking at all, but what happens is that Edge is so hot headed it causes. Ready to cry because she doesn't want to lose another person. Which we is get, cute for an emotional storytelling aspect, but at the same time, dude, it's I mean, I get the point of rage, but fire on a fire fiend equals no. Yeah. <laughs> I think we will. God damn it. And apparently, that seizure was so fatal, it killed three of your guys. <laughs> Whoa. I think we got Phoenix down. That was the balloons, actually. That random battle that I edited out was balloons all self-destructing in front of my face. I'm sure our fans would love to have seen that. <laughs> There's nothing more aggravating than finishing a random battle, taking one step, and suddenly random battle. <laughs> Boy, you're gonna love the Persona 2 playthrough when I cut that shit out next to a stoma. Uh, my thing is though is that when it comes to like combat, I really don't like the idea of somebody who's constantly on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just no time for the war. <laughs> ah, the Ashra. Metreon Zintos! Sorry. <laughs> kind of like a stealth high by fuck you. So, Edge, ah, Edge, you died again! <laughs> uh, Fancy cottage. How did you carry that? I don't know. How did uh, you carry that at all? I'm gonna assume it's a collapsible? It's what? Collapsible? Like a tent? Yeah. I'll buy it. Just, we don't have a vacuum though to puff it up, so Edge has to constantly breathe into it. <laughs> <laughs> so, doesn't Rady have a summon for that? Mist, maybe? Maybe. Oh, wait, you mean Cottage Summon? <laughs> cottage Summon? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she buzzed me. Oh, we found Ed's parents. Ed's. We found Ed's Ed? parents. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dad, Sarah being mean to be Ed again. What if Edge's real name is just Ed? Oh, they want a, they want a family reunion in hell. Edge, what the fuck, dude? Edge, where are your mommy and daddy? Uh, hard sell there, guys. <laughs> hey, Johnny, I want to go back a bit when you call him Ed. Do you think that's his real name? Ed, the king of Evelyn? And Edge just sounds cool. <laughs> They've been transformed into monsters by uh, Dr. Luge. Luge. Off screen, mind you. We killed him earlier, right? Yes, we did. Good. 
<laughs> I will avenge you. You already did. <laughs> oh, my work here is done. <laughs> I'm gonna go, Kerbluey. Mother! And just as he found his mother again, she exploded. <laughs> That's really, really has bad. I really wish they'd stop doing that. Yeah. Jinx! So <laughs> well, that's not Satchel's fault. I know. <laughs> I can imagine, like, every time they do that, like, he, he keeps shoving it out of that Rubicon to the game will stop hitting yourself. <laughs> He's confused. Rubicon to, yeah, is the most honorable of the Arch Fates. I always, I always, I always believes in a fair fight. Yeah. That's why he heals you before every battle. That's why he kicks his own ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pressing you guys too hard. Let me, let me back up a bit. There's honor, and then there's. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, do counter. Uh, let me uh, matriarch. Yeah, I was surprised that we. I was surprised that D6 all hatched a ruby weapon or something. Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> 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 and you yeah. found a dragon in a giant metal machinery mech. God damn it, Cecil. He wandered in here by himself. He probably did too. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can you help me find my way home? Oh, you fucking whore! Oh, you bitch. We stole the airship. Booyah. But it can't fly over magma. What kind of air- What? It can't fly over magma. Yeah. That's it can't I'm fly saying. over magma. What is it? Made of grass? I don't know. What it is. It's made of flimsy wood. Flimsy wood. <laughs> Greenwood. Son of a bitch. Damn it. And it's bouncing. Uh oh. I thought you had like- <laughs> it's, it's rubber. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. Oh, Sin? Look at that. He's, he survived. How did he survive? Uh... Shut up! Beard. <laughs> this is the beard uh, generated a, a, a projection of Sid <laughs> that jumped off of the airship with the bomb. No, it was just the beard survived it, that's all. Uh, so, oh, so the beard regenerated the rest of the body. Exactly. <laughs> From a single beard. <laughs> From a single strand does that magnificent beard grow back. <laughs> so Sid, with the help of the dwarves... Rally hole! Making the ship fireproof. And he's gonna take out his payment? <laughs> <laughs> so that was it with his last cast of strength, or is he just sleeping? He just fell asleep. Huh? You know, pretty much after Tella dies, this game treats death like a slap on the wrist. Kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the Grim Reaper really having to be getting really screwed up on the paperwork. No, oh, fuck, I we can't tell if he's dead or not. <laughs> no, what it is is they die, and then they just wake up, and death goes, ah, uh, now I gotta send the paperwork to get that other paperwork <laughs> null and void. Next <laughs> <laughs> <I> statue. <joke. laughs> Just a mere mention of the word void. Oh yeah. Out of the context of the dimensional rift. Absolutely. Warrants an extra joke. Absolutely. He's our mascot. <laughs> next to Bort. He's our mascot? <laughs> I didn't agree to this. Our second mascot next to Bort. Oh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for optional side quests. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Matt. You probably already inserted that little joke clip in there, but I wanted to do it anyway. Well, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, considering that I'm racking up the dough and the fact that I opened up that chest in the Tower of Babel that contained 82,000 gil, I was right. You know, I, every time you say that, I kind of want to match the Price is Right victory belt. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I would go into a Rod Roddy impersonation, but I, I can't talk that fast without mumbling like a fucking moron. I was gonna say, you can't talk like him because he's dead. Well, well I could impersonate him, <laughs> but uh, you know. I can too. Say. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I would blame the interface more so than the level itself on that one. You know, and it doesn't seem like the entire floor, just the green shit. It's, yeah, it's not the entire floor. The green floor. shit, let's try that again in an all green cave. <laughs> <laughs> the thick green acid. Yeah, I, I always concerned it was acid. Well, I don't know what that was supposed to be, but, but whatever. It's dangerous, and that's all that matters. It looks like plant goop, fairy rod, uh, miracle grow, miracle grow, Mir uh, dangerous to humans. Oh boy, miracle. Uh, no, that's that's mayonnaise. Man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the mayonnaise item looks like? Uh, I don't Johnny, you've seen the forgot. <laughs> John, what are you doing? <laughs> John, John, stop. stop. <laughs> Okay, that was weird. But did, anyway, you drink, we, uh, did you actually drink the green stuff? <laughs> Blue magic is broken in every Final Fantasy game since, except for ten, and honestly, and seven. Six. Two, and it's finally very useful in six. Yeah, well, that's go go. That's Draco. <laughs> I has played six twice. <laughs> I 
think that's what- No, you know what it is? It is Go-Go. I just don't use Stray-Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, the very few- the last few treasure chests that we need to get, you saw them, there are six of them, are all monster in boxes. Jinx. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Malboro! We have Elder Treants and we have Malboros. Not the cigarettes. The tentacle demons. So technically, the cigarettes are Marlboros. Well, and, <laughs> sorry. One bad that's letter says that's not Marlboro. It's my original character, Marlboro. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Actually, that makes a good sense in game in story integration as well. Considering you're in a giant plant cave, I thought the last thing you want to do is set the whole place on fire with you in it. <laughs> burn it down! Burn it down! Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I do. Oh my God! Look at Kane's dead toad. <laughs> he croaked. Thank you, and good night! <laughs> Berg Red! I the gum! Big steps. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, your ass is getting lit on fire like a freaking Christmas tree. I don't set fire to my Christmas trees. Your Christmas is suck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, one more monster in a box chest to go. Versus Leviathan! Fuck! <laughs> Shinryu, what? <laughs> uh, Rosa feels really helpful and loved here. She's my float bitch. <laughs> right when you called her a float bitch, I kind of imagined Cecil trying to like fly on her. <laughs> Giddy up! <laughs> Rosa, what the fuck did I tell you? <laughs> float bitch, what are you doing? And then she's and then she takes away Cecil's float. Ah! <laughs> my knees. Wow, that was like the one place I would not take a nap. Sure don't stop you, though. <laughs> are you still doing this game? Yes, we are still doing this game. What Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so beginning the battle here, we fight Fell Knights and Carlos Santana's long-lost cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know he was a knight. <laughs> Welcome to the West Side Story, son. Yeah. <laughs> well... Uh, oh, there go now that's gonna be something fun to talk about for the divorce proceedings. <laughs> Wait, baby, I swear I wasn't part- I wasn't thinking with the right set of mind, I was confused. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, that was fucking flashy and ineffective. Yeah. Alright, but at this point, it was- <laughs> you know, just, uh, <laughs> I missed! I fucking missed! <laughs> you shouldn't be, though, if you've been following this as a Let's Play, I don't know why, I'm sorry for the scheduling issues. <laughs> I've been stuck in the fame park for three weeks! <laughs> Where's the next part? <laughs> It, well, so you've been stuck at the Fae for three weeks, but in reality, Johnny, it's been seven years. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look what happened to Rydia. I was wondering what happened to my house. <laughs> Pretty sick. That sounded more morbid than the Lost Silver playthrough. <laughs> I've actually had this footage in the back burner for quite a while now. Um, but the thing is, though, is that... Wait, 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 before you talk, did you see Edge get hit? He looked like he was doing, like, one of those little 1940s takeaway guys, like, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, when he gets hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks like he's all he, all he needs is his fedora hat, and the other hand is like, ow. <laughs> and now we gotta go to the Seal of Orikalkos up there? Uh, that's the save point. That's the save point? Yeah. It's the save point at the cost of your eternal soul. Yeah. <laughs> Every repeated cutscenes of you going, Yugi! Yugi! <laughs> what are you doing here? It holds much information beyond your knowledge. Yeah, I fucking hate that. <laughs> <laughs> we do have things we can get here for other characters. We're gonna get the Aegis. Is he the Aegis shield, or...? I call it Aegis. Aegis? Aegis. Oh, yeah. Because Aegis Angus. is the Aegis. <laughs> it's the Aegis shield. <laughs> Better not than the Pinker shield. 100% quality beef. <laughs> <laughs> that, now, that, now that's what I call a real meat shield. Yeah, but one of the items that we did get, though, in one of the Aww. hidden rooms was the rat tail. And we're gonna be getting used to that later on. Aww. I made a good pun. What? A meat shield. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that you, sorry, I could die! Sorry, that was a slow burner. <laughs> and catching it first. And yeah, that was also a good pun. Manfred, the fire gin. He burns everything to ashes. <laughs> oh hot. shit! <laughs> <laughs> it would take lifetimes to read everything. Hey, Asura. <laughs> you see, like, People's Magazine with my thumb. We're gonna be throwing the fucking moon at Golbez. <laughs> what? We're gonna throw the moon at Golbez. We're gonna throw the moon at Golbez. Fuck yeah! All right, we got Bahamut EXE. It's called then. Seismic Toss. <laughs> <laughs> where did they come from? And where are they going? going. Oh fuck you, Final oh, Fantasy VI. They fall think back. Going to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rule thirty-four at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. This thing fucked a giant sea snake. 
<laughs> Look what happened. <laughs> you know what? Actually, imagine that's where they got that little joke dilemma from. What do you mean? There's this joke that goes something like, every time you think you got it bad, there's somebody out there as a Siamese twin. Your twin is gay. You are not. He has a date tonight, and you share one ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the gray face is the sex face. <laughs> okay. You want to see that gray face when you're getting laid by Osra? No, thank you. <laughs> that would kill my boner quick as shit. Okay, here's the blindfold. No, but seriously. Here's the blindfold, honey. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, if she goes really crazy, like, on the really bad PMS tangent, like, her head's just start spinning around all over the place? <laughs> I'm happy! I'm fine! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck me! Fuck you! I hate my life! I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> when she's confused, the head just <laughs> perpetually spins. <laughs> <laughs> Say, can you imagine Ashra going shopping? What do you mean? Think of Ashra going shopping, and then she has like a colossal disagreement with herself on what clothes she wants to buy. Maybe these jeans. No, this shirt. No, these pants. Oh, fuck, really? <laughs> Bell bottoms again. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's 1940s? <laughs> so she cast to protect on Cecil, and you felt the need to do it, too. Yes. Because protect... Rosa just will not be outdone. <laughs> it's like, that's my man. <laughs> like I said, who knows what the hell this one's talking about. Oh, no, it's definitely of. female. I mean, I've seen some pretty butch females in my life. So have uh, I. They're called the Amazonas cards. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> God damn. Good aim. <laughs> <laughs> and what? what? <laughs> and it missed because Cecil. Wow, Edge. <laughs> it missed because Cecil. <laughs> Nobody likes you, Edge. Okay, so we learned Asura. Huh? <laughs> now, you learned Asura? A, we learned Asura, yeah. <laughs> Asura is now a verb. <laughs> <laughs> not just an old man. That's actually Leviathan. The fuck? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. How do we go from gigantic killer sea snake to that? Uh, man, you should never judge a book by its cover. Yeah, right. Well, you, you, you can some books. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, what about the Tantarian? I, I don't think I'm going to enjoy 1984. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're actually going to do that. No. Tune in next week for our special Let's Read of 1984 by George Orwell. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine this place actually being the dystopian apocalypse, so to speak? We're kind of already halfway there. It's the underworld. <laughs> <laughs> see why I recommend you see you see why you cast shell? Yeah. Or have some sort of auto magical defense equipment? Yeah, you, you would do that too. Yeah, and poor Kane was just out of the way when the big heels went off. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkling light frightens me. <laughs> No, no, the Leviathan is a recessive type because you can't handle the three faces of Asura. Oh, God. So he what, he's a pussy? <laughs> what is it? Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost done with the Underworld, lady. Hey, do you think we're, this is actually the sewer systems so or we're just flying over piss? <laughs> it's very luminescent piss. <laughs> uh, we got the, uh, we got Luna's necklace Luca. from the Dwarven King. Luca. Is it Luca? Yeah, like the stadium from Final Fantasy X. I thought it said Luca's necklace. I just made that relevant. <laughs> Some realization. <laughs> so, do what you can. And kill them all at once, please. What the fuck is Rydia really doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, over here. Ooh, Raise ooh. the roof. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Raise the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there like a whole bunch of gimmicky doors and shit like that that always fall? Yep, there we go. Uh, good segue, Matt. <laughs> but apparently not smart enough to know where you're going. No, I'm not, uh, 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 Kane. <laughs> I do like the spears you can um, see on the top of the door. Say it's like, this is not the first time the door was fought. <laughs> right? This door has vanquished many of foe. Many of them dwarves. <laughs> because they don't know how to shut their own security system off. <laughs> Although I have to admit, they kind of look like plungers. What, the, 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 the spears on top of... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here us Mario P. Mario. <laughs> was just trying to clear the plumbing. If you're wondering why Kane is glowing red like that, I equipped him with the Avenger uh, blade before entering this place, which is a two-handed weapon that automatically casts Berserk on the holder, but seeing as Kane only attacks anyway because he doesn't have any magic to spare, I figured why the hell not. So Kane is But the downside is that it turns you into a Marvel fanboy. <laughs> you can't stop attacking everyone. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a cheap, that was a cheap uh, shot, Just. Are you, are you a DC or a Marvel guy? Or uh, neither? DC, but it's not like I'm completely against Marvel. I do like X-Men. I am actually a fan of both. X-Men and you believe Punisher. 
Johnny, how dare you be able to take the neutral side of the funny geek wars, you fucking pussy guy. <laughs> I'm not totally against Marvel, it's just that I don't like the claim that you can relate to them more than DC. I can't relate to Marvel any better <laughs> I either. Connect, I connect with Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't connect with Spider-Man. On those days where my web powers aren't working, I connect <laughs> with him. I connect to Frank Castle, a man who apparently does not understand the concept of vigilanteism, nor do the cops in doing their jobs. Oh, I hate when my head's engulfed in flames. Oh, <laughs> I hate being the Grim Reaper. <laughs> I hate my life. I'm completely immortal, and I get to ride a motorcycle everywhere. Do 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 do. Hey, I don't like it when I can can't scale buildings on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Kids like I know I've been here before. I think. <laughs> Not sure if chest or trap door. <laughs> hey Cecil, can you imagine Kate actually pushing Cecil into the trap door? Rosa, I'm terribly sorry what happened to Cecil. <laughs> And the next trap door is probably going to see Cecil's legs inside the team. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, the trap door gets indigestion and barfs him out. And then Cecil just looks really pissed at... Um, and Cecil looks really pissed at Kate. Kate's all like, what the hell happened? And he said, dude, I'm bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, why am I not fucking surprised? We can never get one of these things without shit following us. The walls. The walls, they're, they're so beautiful. Cecil, not now. <laughs> <laughs> Strategy, the strategy I can only give you, no it's matter what it. level you are, is just attack. <laughs> it's like attack, the, attack, 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 attack. The DS version was fucking hilarious, though. He had like he had a shit ton of HP, like roughly a hundred thousand. Yeah, he was he was more of a tank in the DS version. Well, that's I mean, actually it, really it, big it, of a wall. It's a wall. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Squall, why don't you go talk to that wall, asshole? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, like, it's like I'm talking to a wall. Can you imagine a demon wall and squall striking up a conversation? Hello, buddy, how's it going? Oh, you know, just, you know, the basic shit. Everybody's so much around me, so stupid. Yeah. Put her there. Ow! <laughs> Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Can I really trust you on this one, Kane? Cecil, have I ever betrayed you? <laughs> Cecil, would I lie? <laughs> <laughs> you can't see her roll his eyes because of his fucking helmet. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you can imagine you can imagine him doing like the whole Igor thing with his hands, where he's just going like this. <laughs> his fingers are crossed behind his back. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's the last Dark Crystal Golbez needed, so now he can open up the way to the moon. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> then again, Cecil doesn't look like he's doing much either. Because he's Cecil. <laughs> Cecil, like, why do I waste my life with these assholes? <laughs> Johnny, think about it. Considering the rotten sh events of luck Cecil had. Do you really want him picking up a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> one, one click, <laughs> and the entire thing poofs <laughs> and falls to ashes. You know, the whole thing just collapses right there. They all fall down. <laughs> it's like that SpongeBob episode where he had to make a work of art. He, one, one hammer swing, it poofs, and it makes either a Michelangelo Davis or it just disintegrates. <laughs> oh shit! It collapsed. I think you finally realized the way, but I detonated it. <laughs> a few parts ago, I should have died. Whoops. After chapter four, when they get into, when they they take the ship and they get shot down after that wonderfully long and unnecessary CGI sequence, um, and then we're we're captured by the the the, the big ass airship, and I'm I'm thinking to myself suddenly, it's like I'm I'm reminded of Limblum from Final Fantasy IX. And then uh, sure enough, the ship the name is called Limblum. The, the fucking Limblum. I was like, God, <laughs> yes. So what do you do with the adamantite? You Throw it in the mock okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna blow up the world again. Give it, give it, give it that you're, given who you are, I wouldn't be surprised if you did it by sheer accident. Threw a magma key into the world and caused that explosion. I can't imagine what adamantite would do. <laughs> Fuck you, gold bliss. <laughs> and now it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with the reading. One born of a dragon. Turn page. Bearing darkness and light. Can you imagine like this going on in the like? <laughs> can you imagine like an audio book? Shall rise to the heavens. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> Over the still land. Bing! The moon's light eternal. Bing! Brings a promise to the planet. Bing! With bounty and grace. Turn to side B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 o
<laughs> Available now at your CBS. <laughs> you ride Alexander, who goes from Summon to Castle. You ride Brunhilder, which is Valkyrie turned into a flaming sports car. <laughs> and my personal favorite is Bahamut, who becomes a jet plane. <laughs> Bahamut the jet plane, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was the plot I was talking about. We have a new ship, the Lunar Whale. And now we just leave it there? It functions. Yeah, it's a pinch and ride, but I don't know. I gotta, I gotta go pick up the groceries. No, it's too many. No, no it, it costs too many miles to the gallon. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it, we, it can go over one continent without going, making a trip to the gas station. Johnny, it gets seven feet from one tank of gas. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> so, yeah, it's a really powerful blade. I'm glad we got it now. But. If and then Cecil screws up, drops it in the water, and it rusts. <laughs> then suddenly it's the Excalibur. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> You have a time limit to beat Odin. I think you got about a, got a, you got about a minute. If uh, you take too long, Odin will use Antesuken, which will do which is not an instant kill, but it does about four thousand points of damage, so it might as well be an instant kill. Yeah. And you can't block it. So Oh no, man electrical attacks, Cecil attacks, Kane oh no. Oh <laughs> I missed him already. <laughs> Got this fucking ninja who dies every once in a while. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we have to wake Kane up. Oh. Kane? Yeah. Son of a bitch, had his guns for too long. I'm kidding. Yang, I'm in Yang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does need a hard reality check. Yeah. <laughs> My husband's in the underworld. <laughs> She's fun for I joy. He was, I thought he'd be, <laughs> I thought he'd be good enough to go to heaven. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> to the moon! By the way. When you did all that editing, it made it look like it was an entire flashback. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it like it was uh, two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. For when we were first, when man first traveled to space, we thought of aliens. We still think there's the tall of life out there, but they're willingly not responding to us. Fancy that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they view us as too primitive. Yeah. Hello, we came to this planet looking for a tall life. Oops, we made a mistake. <laughs> so, and he's a guy, and he's a hell of a geezer. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a bitching beard too, though. I admit. No, his beard looks more artificial. <laughs> Fake. Exactly. <laughs> but Fusuya also told us that there is an inner power inside the moon that's been channeling his evil energy and has been controlling a certain Lunarian and you to know, do his evil bidding for him. And you know what? The overworld map music would make perfect sense to what he said because you'd be like, what? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is this? This shit? is what I was imagining when he was going during that speech. <laughs> Fusaya has just told us that there's a person named Zemus, and he's Zemus? using his evil energy to control Golbez. Golbez and himself is being controlled. Bullshit. The puppet <laughs> master is in actuality a puppet. And Suck on that cloud. And that puppet has a puppet as well. His name's Kane. <laughs> Fusaya has meteor, ladies and gentlemen. Suck on that, Tala. <laughs> I, I enjoy it, in a sense. I think they, they had to have done that just to make sure your ass didn't get stuck while you're on the moon. To the moon! I mean, don't you hate that when you get stranded on the moon? Yes! <laughs> Tell me about it, my AAA insurance don't cover that. You start the game off in the medieval kingdoms, and then later down the road you find yourself stranded on the moon. It's like, well, how the fuck did this happen? In the original uh, SNES translation, it was called Spoon. Spoon. Because fuck it, we can't. We we don't have to censor swords and staves and lances, but a knife. <laughs> oh, 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 that hits there. a little close to home. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that there. Any particular reason you don't like using spells like Kiraja or Kiraga? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Well, shut me up. <laughs> Bone dragons. Yeah, they're like a particular class of enemy. Yeah. The first one you fight is a boss known as Hydra, who is a dragon that ate, lived for so long it actually forgot how to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, does it, how, do, how do you know how to die? You no, know, it just forgot to die. Like it's like I'm just gonna keep living and living and living, and then its eye sockets fall out. It's kind of a gross one, boss. <laughs> he was playing so much World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Is it for super bosses or something like that? Are there super bosses with their team? There's super bosses. There's optional marks, and then there are just some challenges you need to level 10 Crystarium grid on just to make it through. Yeah. Not counting those psychopaths out there on YouTube who have done a no Crystarium run on it. God bless you. Go outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final summon battle of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Super Miss Dragon. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs>
Anyway, Bahamut, you notice, is counting down to something. Can't be good. So do yourself a favor and get reflect on everybody. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine it after the <laughs> countdown, it just goes Happy New Year. Exactly. <laughs> did he, I'm trying to remember. Did he cast reflect on himself and then bounce Mega Flare off of himself into you? Because that sure. sounds like what the DS version would do. No, the DS version would have him just immediately kill your party members at one swipe for 17,000 damage. Well, so he actually physically attacks you. No, I'm just saying that's what he would do. I want him to blow up the whale. <laughs> you idiot! Put it on neutral! Put it on neutral! <laughs> anyway, so this is the reason why Golbez was collecting all the crystals. Well, I should say Zemus was collecting all the crystals so he can summon the giant of Babel. Which one? But, uh, <laughs> it summons the giant of Babel. So it can wipe out all of Earth's inhabitants, so that Zemus can live in the blue planet all for himself. <laughs> what an ass! <laughs> oh, look at that! Paul and Paul were just fine. The Elder restored us. <laughs> the giant looks confused. He doesn't know how to, doesn't know how to assess this. What? And brain control. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with me here. <laughs> For you land back on Earth from the moon. If you're wondering where you can shop on the moon, there's actually this one place I didn't show off while we're on the moon. It's actually the Hummingway's uh, home. Or the, you know, Hemingway. We, Hemingway, we actually find... Hemingway. Hemingway. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway is actually from the moon. Who would do? They're so adorable. It also causes a slowdown. <laughs> Just work your way until you can, you're finally strong enough to go inside the jab, giant of Babel. I almost thought you said javelin. The javelin. <laughs> the giant of javelin. The javelin of Babel. <laughs> we just Conk. look at it for a while, wondering what the hell are we do with this. And then you end up getting stabbed by it. 56 clockwork dragons later, and we're going to get a really massive experience boost. Every go outside. No, I'm not really No, doing. go to the bar, go out and find a woman, go get yourself laid, do something more. Holy shit! Everyone's gonna gain about three to four levels. Go outside! <laughs> well, you, you will have taught us the power of joining forces, that's what we'll do. Of course, he hasn't taught you any brighter, because you're not supposed to heal your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> I honestly thought you'd fight all four of them at once. I thought that was gonna happen, too. But now they're just elemental arc fiend. Yeah. <laughs> They've been demoted. Oh, he used Curse on Fusia. His physical attack is down. Um, the old man can't hit hard. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ooh, do it again. <laughs> Kagnazo is too kinky to torture, indeed. Oh, we need Kane. Nah, no, we don't need Kane. <laughs> Kane, I'll show him. <laughs> And go figure well, the first one down his edge. <laughs> I'm not really surprised. <laughs> and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The four arc fiends redux to She's dust. actually slipping through the cracks of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting sucked out through the space. <laughs> Everybody gained a level but edge. Oh, if you got in a fight between there and then. I would have edited it out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Though, in hindsight, what if it? What if the Lunarians are only more advanced because they have Windows Seven and the rest of the world has Windows Vista? <laughs> you never know. The high five of doom. No, the high five of healing. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> you saw the knockback. It even knocked Fuzinga down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember your father's name? Kluya. Say what? Kluya. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Goldbez's father's name is the exact same name as Cecil's father's name. So, big I can imagine Cecil going, That must be a huge coincidence! <laughs> hey, my father's name's clear too. What a small world, huh? <laughs> and then Rudy really smacks him on the back of the head. <laughs> Cecil and Theodore. That sounds like names you hear on the moon.
<laughs> we might be in trouble. Thank you, Edge. Oh, the chimes collapsed. Somebody give him a high five. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready yet. This way. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> Somebody played Smashing Ground. <laughs> uh, bottom of the trap hole. Smashing Ground. Bottom of the trap hole would have gotten rid of it before it all began. <laughs> Very true. Oh, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, you want to read the script or not? <laughs> <laughs> but I can imagine Cecil now at this point just grabbing Rose's ass going, uh-uh, hats off, champ. <laughs> Kick him in the balls. <laughs> if I was ready, I'd say, you're one of the fucking talk. You spent 50% of your adventure on the fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> imagine the bestiary. Edge. The slain 36. No, 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 no. Bestiary. Cecil records all the wildlife. Kane records all the dragons. He records all the floor textures. <laughs> How far do you think they would have gotten without a white mage? Oh, that wasn't very far at all. <laughs> they never put into a random encounter. Out of the way, bitch. Nope. Why are you doing this? Right in front of Kane, too. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I, I don't understand why Cecil would suddenly go all white knight and say, oh, I can't get a little female get involved. I would have surprised he didn't go white knight earlier. He's a fucking paladin. I, I got a kick out of that he did it right in front of Kate, too. Mm. <laughs> we could have Yang back, which is awesome. We could yeah. have Sid back, which is subpar. We could have Edward back, which is no. <laughs> which is no. <laughs> so this new place exists to give these characters equipment so that they're caught up with Cecil and the gang, so that they're ready to go We're gonna to give them hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to give them hope. Johnny. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Yang is pretty much good to go. He really doesn't need the add claws that we can get to him. Add claws? Well, remember, he does the same amount of damage physically that he does without the claws. But the add claws, what do they do? Do well, they... No, 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 no. That's an added claws. Oh. Added. Because literally said add, I was like, what are you going to do, show him a pop-up? <laughs> he gets a 350 every punch. <laughs> it's amazing what you can learn when you have a giant rock. <laughs> yeah, I, I, tell me about it. He, uh, uh, Palomon himself, he knows uh, he knows Flare now. He knows Meteor. <laughs> uh, he, you know, and, and he knows shit. You know, he knows shit? No, I mean... It's very therapeutic, that stone. <laughs> <laughs> if you want your final sword, Cecil, clear this trial. Fuck it, I'll just go with what I got. <laughs> I wonder why. I'm suspicious. I am too. Maybe we should use that siren somewhere in this cave. Maybe we should somewhere Assuming in this cave. Assuming we get past the 76 on the random battles on our way over. <laughs> you know? God damn. Hey, vampire bat! And he drops his pants. <laughs> Encounter plus bug off. What? <laughs> <laughs> If I got if every three steps I take gives me a seizure, that's an issue. Yeah, Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> I think I looked up the stats of the Great Marlboro out of curiosity. I don't recall seeing putrid breath in there, but I'm going to assume it does something more than just bad breath and acid. It's got to have bad breath. Oh, a yeah. Marlboro without bad breath is not a Marlboro indeed. No. It's a don't you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got the God Hand for Yang. So let's Hello. get the right there. Look, it didn't even add that much attack. I added one point of additional attack. Game doesn't need any bitch fucking claws. <laughs> God hand? You mean my right hook? <laughs> <laughs> you mean my pinky? <laughs> How are you carrying them all around? Uh, they're little capsules. Oh, okay. You can mistake them for ibuprofen, which leads to some hilarious results if you add one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a failed physics project. <laughs> <laughs> what has science done? <laughs> no, the reason why it's called Death Machine is because it's seeking death. Look at it. It doesn't look like... <laughs> Kill me. It, it doesn't want to live. Look at it. He's got <laughs> what? He's got his own... He's got his own mech and shit coming out of his own mouth. He needs to be put he out of his misery. Blue, he has a blue screen of death to stare. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can't believe what's going on. Hey, Johnny, can you imagine a blue screen of death for him would actually just be Bill Gates there going... <laughs> <laughs> Tyrannosaurus. Fuck! Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So you basically got Warhawk's mallet. <laughs> oh yeah, I never thought of that actually. I am ignorant. 
<laughs> Fun fact, White Moose, also a mark in Final Fantasy XII. Fun fact, it's also a hair product. <laughs> the only one you should be focusing your attention on is the Flan Master. If you destroy the Black Fans of White Moose, the Flan Master will rejuvenate them. And then use Ultima. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> okay, well, we'll do that. You won't do that. Now, even... Uh, I'm... Wait, I mean... I'm, in the meantime, Cecil, Yang, and Sid are doing what they do best, and that's beating the shit out of enemies with, you know, blunt objects. <laughs> blunt objects? Well, Yang and Sid are blunt objects. Yeah, because I was about to wonder what the hell Cecil's doing with that sword. Twink, twink! Maybe it's a reverse sword. Oh, what? That's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him in particular. Ouch. What the fuck? He's taking a nap. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's, I remember that, and I forgot all about it. I, could, I, I was, we pointed that out earlier, and now I just forgot all about yeah, it. But that was like five months ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> worm! Ah, the Harry Mason hide, School of Hiding. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> dude, I never, dude, I played Persona too. Apollo is Tatsui's ultimate Persona. That's right there, Greek god of the sun. I, I know Apollo is the sun god, but I also, I, I think Apollo Creed every time. I'm the kind of person that immediately thinks of Apollo Creed before the sun god. Rocky? Yeah. Carl Weathers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Carl Weathers, <laughs> god of the sun. <laughs> and take two. Take, yeah, take two. Lay, oh, well, first off, I may have noticed that Cecil crashed garage band. Yeah, Cecil crashed fucking jinx. <laughs> I, I, was asking, I was telling you that you know, garage band rarely crashes on me, but it's really annoying when it does, especially 28 minutes into the part. But, uh, ain't that a bitch? No, and it's just random. Oh, it's random. Oh, it's just a matter of just revisiting every once in a while. Yeah, like looking for a job in the economy when you've been unemployed for a while. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking to crystals. They've had a better conversation than lightning would. <laughs> See? Hi, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> They've all fulfilled their duties. Uh, Save the uh, armored bean there. Yeah. Well, it could be Iron Man. Tony Stark could be dueling inside there. Uh, Mark seventeen. <laughs> Minus one Marvel. <laughs> Hey, look, it even has, like, an arc reactor on its belly. By the way, Johnny, in case you guys weren't fully aware of it, despite what he said earlier, he, he ditched Edge for Young. Yes. But he kept King. Yes. So Johnny trusts the traitor more than he does the ninja. <laughs> <laughs> you know the rule of this Let's Play? If it's a monster in a box, we have to show the battle off. Until we have to, until we get to my editing skills for Final Fantasy IX, in which case, every battle almost gets shown off. <laughs> well, that didn't go anywhere. Yeah, right? <laughs> Cecil's taking in the rocks. White dragon. Now be careful, you don't want to kill another person's mother. Yeah. Look at that. Look, remain calm. <laughs> hey, Rydia. Memories, right? Yeah. Hey, remember that bitch we killed? <laughs> wait, for, I, wait for the neck. Wait for the ballad of Cecil Harvey. Uh, <laughs> accidentally threw uh, Kitchy's HP shout. What? I was like, I was actually experimenting with a whole bunch of materia at the time, and one of the games I was doing was like a command materia only mission. Yeah. So when I was throwing around some of the weapons to make some use out of it, I ended up accidentally throwing Kachi's <laughs> HP <laughs> shout. <laughs> What's a fucking megaphone doing in my back? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is that I really don't know anything about World of Warcraft. All I know about World of Warcraft is World of Warcraft, and apparently in one of the latest expansions, you can control a kung fu panda. Voiced by Jack Black. God no, that would sell me. That would tear me away from the game. <laughs> I take it you didn't like Kung Fu Panda. Uh, no, I just can't stand Jack Black too much. Oh, well, you learn something new every day. <laughs> I highly doubt Jack Black was around for the original Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> he was trying to avoid being jerked out. I remind me to show you the Pick of Destiny later on. <laughs> but there's a material inside the northern crater that's obscured by this bright core. That's no shield. It's, it was a shield. The shield material. That's the only thing in the game that gives you peerless aside from air limit breaks, which you can't use because several all decides to shank her. <laughs> Dino zombie. We because the it. last one was apparently still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those those Saint Elmo's fires are surrounding the dragon, maybe. Saint Elmo's fires blew. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> and who's this? Little and, murder. Why does that sound like a sitcom? 
<laughs> Little murderer, <laughs> don't you dare touch that! This time, on this fall, on the WB. Hehe, <laughs> I told you, I'll remake your toe butter. He's also Italian. <laughs> and he's Luigi. <laughs> so, uh, just for a little clarification, this guy- Okay, well, he's not, he's not really a threat at all. Uh, Little murderer got literally murdered. <laughs> How did this fit in the box? Uh... You're just asking that now. <laughs> you know, Meteor is considered holy elemental. In this game? Mm -hmm. Holy. <laughs> it's punishment from God himself. Yeah, you can see him. Purge the infidels. That's why he <laughs> killed <With> fucking meteors. <laughs> I apologize to all those that like Blue Dragon. I just didn't tickle my fancy. Yeah, right. The, and in case you're wondering, a man's fancy is just blow his ball sack. <laughs> I've been tickling, that's actually the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> so, two spells of Blue Saga will kill the Wed, dra uh, the wed Dragon. The Elmer Foot now. The Wed Dragon? <laughs> wed Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Widia, do a favor and cast Blue Saga. Fuck! Peachy. <laughs> but, uh, understand an immunity to fire, or at least it has higher defenses towards fire, but not absorb. Wow, you know, that's a, that's a slap in the face. Almost as much as a little murderer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, By the way, you're colossal you're colossally pissing off the composer here. Oh, uh, well No, but seriously, like every time you get going, he <laughs> then he stops, he just like throws down the uh, state. Hey, fuck you. Way in the cave, not me. So many random encounters in here. See? <laughs> one thing I'll, one thing, oh, yeah, I forgot the difference the other difference between red and blue dragons, red dragons get two attacks. Uh, with each turn. Exactly, it, but it's still stereotypical. Red Dragon offense, Blue Dragon defense. Yeah. And bad video and game, bad. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are just... They're, they're paper mache. <laughs> oh, thanks, Toots. Okay, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's just a douchebag, now. <laughs> kind of walking all over the place this entire part, now. Yeah. It's kind of hard. There's no toilets on the moon. No. Can you imagine trying to take a piss on the moon and then it just floats right back up and nearly in your face? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, it just floats upward with you and you're like... Ugh. <laughs> well, that's someone's meteor right now. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one subscriber. <laughs> uh, this is the part where they talk about the shit in the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that part. <laughs> Remember the beginning of the game where we see the Baron's air fleet taken to the skies? They're playing the Red Wings theme. Yeah. They're playing the original Super Nintendo version of the Red Wings theme. Right? Mm -hmm. But for this dungeon, they used the DS version. And it's odd because you can also go to the sound test in this game's collection, and they play the SNES version of Red Wings when you play it in the sound test. But for some reason, they play the DS version when you're in this dungeon. The skull on Kane was tripping balls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, you're on your knees. Why are you doing that? Meanwhile, we get to hear a frustrated composer repeatedly try and give up on the Red Wings piece. <laughs> okay, you're just hanging there, no bull. <laughs> <laughs> Since when does Final Fantasy need a jump button? That's why Final Fantasy 13 2 sucks. <laughs> a oh. jump button? <laughs> Worst game ever done. <laughs> yeah, because if geeks have shown anything in the past, is that they hate change. <laughs> Seriously. Everybody bitches well, I'm, when they I'm, change. I'm not disagreeing. Exactly. <laughs> Where we get another sword as soon as we get into another battle. God damn you, uh, Jinx. Right before the fucking boss battle. I hate when I do that. Yeah, you're a Jinx. Shut up. Cecil. <laughs> wow, fucking really? Hopefully you got the HP to survive that. You are a fucking Jinx and a half, Cecil. I had nothing to do with that. Youch. Oh, video. So he just, what, kicked it right off? <laughs> she just closed her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la! And there's Kane pulling off a good edge impersonation. Kids. <laughs> you are a shitty dragoon. <laughs> Six out of ten. <laughs> you are a shitty dragoon to fall by a dragon. Meanwhile, Cecil doing what he does best, and that is bonking him on the head. Say, Cecil, did you learn any white magic? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to play the original NES version of 3. Just for shits and giggles. I think there's actually an, uh, an English translated ROM out there somewhere. Like, yeah, it's called an emulator. He's a. <laughs> I just said English translated ROM. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm Ignoranus. No, you're Matt. Ignoranus? <laughs> in the original SNES uh, translated version for Americans, uh, he was called Dark Muhammad then. But in the PlayStation translation, he was called Wyvern. Huh. 
And then he went back to Dark Bahamut for the advance and this version of the it's game. It's kind of an it was a victim of identity theft. <laughs> well, yesterday I was Bahamut, now I'm Dark Bahamut, today tomorrow I'm Wyvern, and then Friday I'm Fred. <laughs> Fred the Mega Flare Rock Dragon. <laughs> How did we manage to fit that in our pockets? Uh, just that water. <laughs> you know what? I fucking believe that. I totally fucking believe that. <laughs> so we'll, Dark we'll, Sage wears a thong on her head, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Moon Maiden. <laughs> oh, seriously, look at that. It looks like a thong. Or at least her underwear. What, the Moon Maiden? It's yeah. Leotard with the belly missing. No, 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 no. On the head. Oh, on the head. Oh, yeah. That's thong. She's a party girl. There's panty on her head. <laughs> I remember this one time I was walking home from you, Penn. And there was this guy pouring out his heart to this woman. And the woman was clearly clocked out of her fucking mind, missing a shoe. Hot chick, too, but missing a shoe and everything. I was like, dude, you're kind of being a little date rapey here. <laughs> dude, that's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Holy Lance for Kane. What did he do? Community service for Holy Lance? Uh... After all the shit he pulled, he should have gotten a negative lance. Well, that sounds pretty badass. A negative lance? The negative lance. No, yeah, it only works when he stabs himself. <laughs> he vanishes to a, the negative dimension. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, pretty. And everybody it takes dirt nap, and you can see her ass. Wow. Hey, she's technically legal. <laughs> Physically. Ah, uh, the old grass on the field play ball logic. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did I immediately think of Hey Arnold when he said that? <laughs> and farming flame prints. Yeah, I do that about 150 more times. I'm not kidding. Because I ha I used about two stacks of sirens that I had. And I didn't get a Fucking th hell! I didn't get the pink tail at all. So, all that siren grinding you did just wasted your time. Well, I, get, I gained about eight levels. <laughs> I gained about eight levels and wasted I Wasted your time! How, how much guild do I have? You have enough guild to buy out the fucking planet. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can actually bribe Zemus to stop. <laughs> uh, back in the giant the ultra weapon. The D to the moon. <laughs> you know what? If you could bribe Paragon in Final Fantasy X2, I'm pretty sure you could do it here too. That's still one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life was bribing, the, me! bribing the ultimate weapon in Final Fantasy X. I bribed Omega. <laughs> <laughs> Ogo Pogo. <laughs> That's still the most important. Is, is it because it's Ogo Pogo? Exactly. It's not like I said in the last part. It sounds like a name you'd hear out of Gerald McBoing Boing or something. Holy shit! I just realized his name is the same if you spell it backwards. Hey, it's an anagram. Much like Leviathan, it's a complete ripoff. No, 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 wait, wait. It's not really an anagram. It's a uh, what do you call a word that's spelled the same when you spell it backwards? Oh, oh, a palindrome. Wrong word. I used the wrong word, it's not an anagram, okay, no, it's that's palindrome. That, no, that's what Cecil is. No, that's paladin. <laughs> <laughs> what am I thinking of core? Final Fantasy something five. <laughs> Final Fantasy something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be Final Fantasy V, Final, Final Fantasy IX. Well. Oh, come on, Deathmass, I don't want to fight you now. I don't want you to Go kill away. me! Please kill me! Alright, let's just use teleport. No! Don't go! I want to die! Da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at Young like, do you even lift, bro? How do you? How much do you think he bench presses? Uh, bench presses. Ballpark figure. Twelve hundred hate tons. <laughs> hate tons. <laughs> hate tons. Yeah. Hate tons. <laughs> One hatred, two hatred, three hatred, four hatred, five hatred. He has the strength of a thousand racists. <laughs> Is he breath? breath? The fuck? Looks like chili. <laughs> Might have a condition. <laughs> but it's rocking some pecs too. <laughs> and it? His fucking breath works out. <laughs> oh, the, the part's over. <laughs> um, it's time for the final battle of the game, ladies and gentlemen, but it looks like Fusoya and Golbez have already got here before us. <laughs> I caught a fish that was this big. <laughs> Zemus remembers. Zemus remembers when Golpez was this big. <laughs> rah rah, fight the pyre. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the body dies, the spirit lives on, but, but the body died. <laughs> <laughs> Easiest final boss ever, I must say. Uh, after or before? Uh, oh. If you lose to that, you fucking suck. <laughs> you know, everyone's pretty much just gonna talk to you, give you some. You, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> your fault. It all started with the Big Bang, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually one of my favorite skits I've ever. Like, <laughs> I probably would have been better off replacing King with Edge in this fight. Nah, uh, Edge would have been eaten blue. Eh, well, but that would have been a very rare find for your um for your little bestiary of floor textures. Ah, uh, blue holy. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you've seen one of the Final Fantasy games they recently produced, which is Pay all, to Play. All the Brave. Constantly. Yeah. yeah. I know. I've seen, I've seen it. I've, I know about it. I'm not getting that game. Yeah, that. <laughs> no thanks. DLC, the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get her parents killed, swallowed by a sea god. Hey, that wasn't, God our, knows that what else. wasn't our fault. Leviathan ran into us. And the fucking odds of that happening? Well, we, we, we found out earlier. Johnny, I have a better chance of getting it laid. It was on purpose. I have a better chance of getting laid. That, that can't fucking happen on It was you. on purpose, but Leviathan's reasoning was never clear. Yeah, Cecil, there you go. No. <laughs> oh, I hate that douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> the world seems to hate Cecil. And he chuckers and he chucks through like a soldier to the end. That's why I love Cecil. The world is fucking against them, and he goes, you know what? Fuck you, I'm still doing the right thing. <laughs> so as long as evil exists, things like Zeromus will still live on. Well, that just made my adventure pointless. Fuck you. <laughs> After what, actually, uh, no. <laughs> After Years actually does bring back a lot of uh, uh, bosses from 4. Yeah, the, the, four, the 4 Arc Fiends, then the 4 Fiends, I believe. Right? Yeah. Mm. They, they, they bring in bosses from every Final Fantasy game. Ah, uh, so basically the kitchen sink approach. Yeah, mm. in a sense. A sequel to Final Fantasy IV is a fucking kitchen sink. <laughs> but, uh, like we said earlier... A we'll... kitchen sink and Theodore's entire character. Huh? <laughs> and now, it is once again time for Matthew Matelli's fun with the reading. <laughs> One born of a dragon. Beep! Bearing darkness and light. Beep! Shall rise to the heavens, beep, over the still land, flip to side B. The moon's light eternal, beep, brings a promise to the planet with bounty and grace. Oh, you didn't do a beep in between the, uh... I could make it in one line. <laughs> beep, look at the, look at the, the blue planet is so much fun. Flip to side C. It's like a merry-go-round. Welcome to Side C of a Two-Sided <laughs> Sea. How, how is that possible? <laughs> After a brief pause, the moon beep, travels forth, seeking another in search of its radiance. Beep. Though of the same blood, lunar and terrestrial both, beep, times march alone. <laughs> Why did you too beat that apart. comma, not the other comma? I'm inconsistent. This, this type this Side C beep. is inconsistent. Okay. I'm inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stick shift. It's a stick shift. <laughs> Why did we have to sink the lunar whale? It looked very cool. I think it has autopilot. Not answering my question there. Why are we sinking in the first place? It looks cool. How would you like that shit? Come face to face with a giant fucking battle whale. <laughs> We're parking on Leviathan. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Terror has the ultimate range. Yeah, here I come, bitch. <laughs> Doo -doo. Here comes the happy beat. Or as Jack would like to say to Terror and Dissidia, You better not cry. You will make me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Rape-tastic as ever. Hey man, we nuked the village earlier in the game. <laughs> but we saved the eight-year-old. All the grown adults with summons died, but the eight-year-old survived. You don't know there's any other children inside the village of Miss before we nuked it. Exactly. Because Radio's probably the last one. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> all virgins. I'm just pulling shit completely <laughs> out my ass here. But all the same. But a stash like that... It's, it's a stash that's grown so long, it is a beard. It's a stash that's grown so long, it could be its own zipline. Yeah. <laughs> he uses the whip. 
How do I like my behemoth steak? Breathing. <laughs> huh. I sing of the song of Cecil, the lonely fucking jinx. He turned a friendly antlion against me. Oh, that beast that never blinks. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, it's a work in progress. Yeah, it's still a work in progress. <laughs> Actually, if you look, if you look, uh, Zion, I can't think of a rhyme for Golbez. Uh, <laughs> Golbez. <laughs> yeah, it's probably gonna be the second line. Uh, we met most foul fiend Golbez. <laughs> oh, name I cannot rhyme with Golbez. <laughs> there, there you go. It, it counts. <laughs> and who's this dapper fellow? It's Kane. Cecil, Rosa. I cannot bring I myself can't. to face you both, especially at your wedding. I'm sending you this letter to let you know that I can't find my helmet, and I'm wondering if I left it in your bedroom. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what is it, Hank? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to see this! The moon! Damn it, that's a rock! <laughs> Somebody cleared off the telescope. <laughs> well, yeah, the, considering how big the fucking telescope is, a rock would look like a moon. So basically, apparently the two moons, one was Lunarian Fake Moon, and the other was Our Moon. Yeah. And so, to cap it all off, Cecil and Rosa are to be wed. Can't afford the king size bed, though. Cecil's a bed winner. <laughs> what? Oh, that's right. You we do remember it. that Cecil's a colossal jinx. So... What? For God's... Oh, by the king size, the kingdom explodes. Okay. Right. <laughs> This is the same kid who threw a rock down a well and ended up blowing up a fucking continent. Hey, that was an explosive rock. What an explosive rock of that caliber? Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. Mm. <laughs> in ten minutes, we'll be bringing in the liquor. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Edge comes in. I'm the liquor. <laughs> mm. High fives, everybody! <laughs> Ow! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> If you do not care about the Lunar Ruins, ladies and gentlemen, then you can technically stop watching the Let's Play from here. You know, because I mean, this is technically the end of the game. See, the end right there. Tell us right there. So where are the, Olmec? Lunar, so where are the Lunar Ruins at? They're Let's right ask here. Olmec. Okay, Olmec. Please tell us where the kids need to go through in order to get to the Lunar Ruins. Well, first, they have you to climb start. through the caves. You could start at the mountainside on the lunar side. <laughs> but you stumped the Lunar Whale. You're <laughs> fucked now. <laughs> Matt, did you enjoy the two-week break? Sure, I did. And meanwhile, we managed to fish up the lunar whale from the depths of the sea. Yeah. <laughs> it took a lot of fishing rods. <laughs> <laughs> but we finally got the son of a bitch back out of water. Ladies and gentlemen... After three Gyaradoses. We're not done just yet with Final Fantasy IV. We have a whole optional dungeon to complete that only opens after you beat Zeramis. On the moon? On the moon. Let me guess, we're fighting the long-lost super boss, Alice Cramden? Uh, what? <laughs> Alice Cramden. <laughs> Alice... Crabton? One day Ralph had enough of it, and then boom, right to the moon. <laughs> Throughout the years, uh, she, she mutated. <laughs> exactly. Space radiation. Lunar poisoning. So. They have sirens? We have. <laughs> You're the one millionth customer to enter the lunar room. <laughs> <laughs> right, what did I win? You win you randomly generated <laughs> dungeons, <laughs> ultimate weaponry, and overall a colossal pain in the ass. Indeed. To be honest, why float? It's real. Uh, we might need it later. Call it Lunar Titan. Never mind. There you go. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> <laughs> Is this just it? We're now playing against the characters from Final Fantasy, all the bravest. <laughs> hey, fuck you and your DLC. <laughs> the game is DLC. <laughs> oh, here comes fifteen bucks down the drain. Ah, rage quitters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> no, it's still super mugs. Okay, I'm sorry. They're wearing green clothes in the overworld, and suddenly they're wearing red in the uh, battle sprites. They got angry. Oh. Uh, no, wait a minute. That's supposed to be the opposite. You're supposed to turn green when you're angry. No, you turn green when you're envious. You're red when you're angry. Not to the Hulk. Mm. I thought the Hulk runs off anger. <laughs> you tell me he's envious? <laughs> that's, a that's a genetic mutation problem. Hey, fuck. God forbid Bruce Banner has a 68-inch TV, and then you show off your 70-inch. <laughs> Suddenly, you have no TV. <laughs> Neither of you have a TV. <laughs> what, month, what, even, what strategy is there? Summon Dragon, blow the shit out of Baldies. These things have a shorter life expectancy than Krillin. <laughs> Come to think of it, that's what we're doing. We're being the shout out of Krillin. <laughs> and all the many lives. <laughs> that is one lenient dragon. Yeah. 
It looks like he's gotta take a shit. Yeah, I'm, oh, poor thing. <laughs> oh, he's constipated. That's what blue means. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar Tycan must take lunar shit. <laughs> oh. In the DS version of the game, they also brought in onion equipment. That had yeah, I heard about that. The same drop rates as Pink Tails. Sure. To this day, I've still not gotten a single goddamn piece of onion equipment. I, know, I can't ima I imagine that putting you under the status of autocry. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the echidna here is new. Echidna? Uh, it looks nothing like an echidna. Actually, yeah, think, that's a really freaky looking anteater. Actually, I think it's supposed to be an homage to the echidna enemy in Final Fantasy III. Oh. Which hung upside down. Which none of us really got a chance to play until the DS version came out, so as far as we knew, looking at this... Hey, Knuckles yeah. looks weird. <laughs> or that's a goofy looking anteater in general. <laughs> ah, yeah, Knuckles the enchilada. I, I, the 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 I break rocks with my rock hard fist nipples. It's awfully <laughs> cold today, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Anyway, so... Lamia Queen showing us full money ass. <laughs> <laughs> Word, after level 70... His stats start skyrocketing. Yeah, he's Onion Knight. Yeah. Or Onion Prince. So... Which explains his crying all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Final boss is Anna. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's Tala. Spooty Bar! Anna's Revenge. <laughs> the fanfic inspired by millions. Oh, boy. A fanfic nobody asks for. And that's it. We got the Requiem heart. Yeah, it's a, let's go back now. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Edward's so pathetic, he doesn't even get a proper trial. <laughs> this is endless. Uh, let me try it again. <laughs> Johnny, Yonk punched a ghost. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ghost don't die. <laughs> Not if Yang has anything to say about it. Ghost don't die, you say. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> hey, Johnny. What's up? Yang is a monk. I can see Yang is teaching as a monk, and then Yang goes, and then when some student fails enlightenment, he gives him the alternate answer to what's the sound of a one hand clapping. <laughs> <laughs> and slaps him upside the head. With the student's own hand. Yeah, no, with his hand. <laughs> Young man, what, Edward, what is the sound of one hand clapping? What is it? <laughs> Face! <laughs> Better you want to recreate Ghostbusters? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, they just needed a monk the entire time. They needed a monk and they needed a bard. <laughs> Marshmallow, man. You mean dessert. <laughs> Loki's loot. I just thought of something else again. What? Imagine that Imagine that. Imagine that instrument of bastardizing everything you thought you knew about music. The A note is played with... The A note makes a D minor sound. The C note hits a chorus sound. Then you're pretty much twisting your fingers all over the place trying to play the fucking thing <laughs> then correctly. Then you find out you're playing a Casio. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> And then you hit the fourth. And then you hit the fourth chord, and it's a percussion solo. I'm like, what the fuck is this, Bishop Price? It's such a mischievous loot. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> yeah, she does look like one of the uh, YRP. A little like out of the YRP. Jesus Christ! You can see those pants that the fucking sun blew out. <laughs> <laughs> so you may have noticed a recurring pattern here, just with two. Oh, ah, there's that. We're doing whatever does best. <laughs> You know, if this no, is actually Yang telling him, <laughs> Yang telling him the two push ups and Yang said, well, Edward can't go past one. <laughs> I'm imagining Yang looking at Cecil. Oh, I see you have the Iron armor. Me? I just got my fucking chest. <laughs> you see, this chest, this chest star here can actually bear, well, actually, <laughs> bear children. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross, Yang. Seriously, one look at my wife takes one look at my chest, and boom, I'm a father of three. <laughs> Poor Sheila. <laughs> well, Sheila would be happy for it. Shit, I bear his fucking children. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Edward. What did what did Tullus say to the bard? <laughs> Face. <laughs> Exit Shiva. Stage left. Yeah, stage or south. Sta stage south. Stage hell. <laughs> I'm glad to see There's... Edward finally is becoming really useful, besides the, you know, If only because he wrote the fun shit, and welcome to part 24! Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that comes later. <laughs> oh no, bomb, 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 there's a bomb going in the house, get the bomb out! That party's gonna be raising the roof. <laughs> the roof will indeed be on fire. This roof! Oh, damn, there goes my joke. <laughs> Once upon a time, a dark night blew the shit out of our city. 
<laughs> no, wait, that's, uh, missed. Isidia. Once upon a time, a Dark Knight shanked everybody. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> it's a shank, he doesn't even use his sword. <laughs> doink, doink. It was also a Tom Berry. <laughs> Anal <Yeah>. Fantasy 8. <laughs> I don't know if that exists, for the love of God, I hope it don't. <laughs> The subscription is three years old. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't blame you for doing that. I think I have some degree of apraxia or dyspraxia myself. Yeah. Which is a nice way of saying your short-term memory's gotten shot to shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough about 50 first dates because all Johnny did never press fucking numbers. <laughs> we're going to take a good night's sleep on the moon and we're going to go back into the next trolley, I hope. So, hey, Rosa, I lost seven years of my life. <laughs> What's your secret? <laughs> Cranny, Cranny, faggot, faggot. <laughs> what exactly? I'm trying to remember the name of the game. I saw it on Dark Kids Let's Play though, and he and it, I swear I flipped my shit as much as he did in the caption. I was like, "Wow!" And to quote the Dark Kid himself, "You may as well have given me a name like Hot Coleman, and it's John Smith in comparison." <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't even know how to react to that. I do. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Shiva looks like she's party. practicing a ninja sign. Yeah. <laughs> And she's out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got Shiva back. We did? I thought she just sort of evaporated into the, the tiny triangles. Back into our pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to see where she hides Titan. <laughs> Is the boss here Miss Dragon? Well, you know that from the previous recording session, Bat. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> well... I see Hulk with a... I see Hulk with, like, a really bad skin defection. And by that you mean the horns off yeah. the head and the shoulders? The horns coming out of his freaking his horns coming out of his goddamn shoulders, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice boots, though. <laughs> he shouts a big and tall. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by get, I mean the ones you got out of your way for it. Same thing. From. Same thing. Yeah. Because I'll be asked if I count catch she as a fucking summon. <laughs> Boy, I'm lucky I know where the hell I'm going in this place. <laughs> in my dreams, I see that restless town. Silent Hill. <laughs> you speak as if you know me. Come on, you geezer! <laughs> you Ramu, think... come back. You're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Young is looking at Ramu going, You're gonna challenge my hair with that? <laughs> you think you got better hair, son? Oh no, Do that shit's think, on. Yeah, he's uh, attacking out of jealousy, or...? He's t I think it's out of respect, like two manly men showing off their beards and Young going, Sir, I'd be dishonored if I didn't fight you with everything I had. Well, look at one of the strands of Rambo's beard. He's actually just like, he's doing like some sort of bring it sign. Haunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did and, you ever uh, happen to see Titan in Final Fantasy XIII? Titan? No. Colossal. Well, he should be his Titan. No, I'm talking fucking huge. Makes Adam Antwoist just look like shit. He's bigger than the Adam Antwoist? Oh, yeah. Way bigger. How the fuck do you fight him? You don't. Are you fighting his toenail? No. <laughs> That'd be some shit, though. <laughs> It was like the Kratos fight in God of War 3. <laughs> <laughs> if Final Fantasy 13 did that at least once, where you had to fight him a la God of War star there, then God knows I probably would have played 13 over and over again just for that. <laughs> the fight with his toenail. Exactly. That's no, fight. just so you climb all over him like that. That would have been a good fight. <laughs> you have to pull his pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If it transformed into mist, that would be it because you have no idea where the hell anything is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can walk through it, like you said last time. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing Bahamut here just to test out to see if I can still damage it with the summon mm, walks nope. like that. Eh, nope. It's about the equivalent of swinging at Mist. Yeah. Although eventually Mist dissipates. <laughs> she can't control herself. <laughs> what if you just walked right through it and called it a day? <laughs> just like part one. Ah, fuck you, Garage Man. Seriously. Johnny, I don't like your attitude. Garage Man closed. Oh, uh, <laughs> fuck you. But everybody here is already rocking equipment that makes them immune to poison, except for Edward. And as Slip evidence there, because he's trying to barf in midair. Yeah, <laughs> he just needs a moment. He's getting air <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I don't mind a boss that heals itself. I don't mind a boss that drains my MP or resources. I don't mind a boss that's evasive. I hate the fucking invincibility bullshit out of nowhere. I hate that. Yeah. And sadly, that's one of the few things I do wish people would hate legitimately about nine. I mean, twelve. I hate 9, you should love 9. Do it! <laughs> love it or I'll fucking spank you! Nerd. Magic usually does defeat magic, but what you need to hear is a fucking vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Call Luigi. 
<laughs> Would you count it as a ghost? Yeah. No, I just counted it as something that could fit inside the vacuum. Although, can you imagine Luigi having done that in the, in the first, in the fucking Missidia? Or before Missidia? Look, Vidia, I got your mommy! <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that scene? Queen Brane being all like, Garnet, I'm dying, I'm so sorry for everything I've done, now you must take the throne. Powerful scene. Now imagine the current heads at Square Enix redoing that scene. Mother, please don't die! <laughs> no, and, no, and then Queen Brane just has the fucking fart talk from Rancho Tui. I don't understand your dialect. <laughs> exactly. They just have her sound. They'll have the actors drink a lot of milk and have her sound really fat. It'll be disgusting. But I heard Here's Luigi your cookies. Here's your milk. And we're hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go to Jahar to talk to one of the cockatrices that's there, yeah, I like to imagine the grief surrounding Vaughn and going, "This here young boy has the mind of the chicken. We shall thereby dub him Vaughn talks to cocks." <laughs> And then everybody just starts laughing at him. Cock, cock, cock. <laughs> hey. Hello. High five. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You imagine someone scaring the shit out of someone with that. It's approaching enemy for the bite. Hey, high five. <laughs> <laughs> for old times' sake, did you happen to transform Cecil into a pig? No. Damn. Hello there, sir. I am the Bacon of Baron. I need a, I need uh, to partake of your resting place. I've heard stories. <laughs> <laughs> In this one, you have this goblin creature who swears that he's a human that had a curse put on him. He's actually telling the truth. So for this battle, do absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, that's one of those grand, grand cliches of role, of role-playing games. If you meet a little cat that says he's an ancient red dragon, 66% chance he's telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but if that cat wants a diamond, don't give it to him. Yeah, that's I gave him I gave him a coin of thievery. <laughs> I know this pig. It reminds me of myself a few levels ago. <laughs> You're reminding me when I was a little pig. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh man, this is some pulse pounding gameplay. Academy Award winning Cecil Harvey hmm. in the Guardsman. Whole hour and a half of him standing still. <laughs> that would get him. That would get him a fucking treasure too. Starring Chocobo, Chocobo shit, Guardsman number two, Radia, the Chocobo picking up his Chocobo shit. <laughs> that was the Chocobo's understudy. <laughs> his turd. <laughs> yeah. Remember that time, baby? Me and you had a Megalixa. Got so goddamn toasted. Next thing I knew, I was waking up next to a dragon, and you were pretty much unconscious. Oh, uh, good times. Honey, I knew how much you loved this phoenix down. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's why I headed away from you until you croaked. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, you have Yang and his magnificent chest, so he'll just go, Zatatsukun? You mean butter knife? <laughs> Double Zatatsukun? Oh, let me, think, let me think there. Let me get my toast ready. <laughs> With a slide of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're suddenly in the giant baboon. This makes about as much sense as the world transgression in Spira. One minute we're in Guado Salam tree, next thing I know I'm in the Thunder Plains, and then I'm in Icy Forest. You mean Guado Salami? Guado Salam. <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear that the first time you said that in the previous <laughs> part, and it got me on the playback. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's pretty much Seymour's raison de terror, by the way, in Final Fantasy X. You know? How would you like to go back to my place and I'll show you some of my guado salami? <laughs> and then it turns out he's actual Slavic. Yeah, right? <laughs> because he sucks at sexual euphemisms. <laughs> Rose is, where was this crime for was choosing Cecil over Cain? Uh, I don't know. Well, it looks like this bit just takes So basically, we gotta, we gotta deal with an angry fanfic writer. I, I guess so. <laughs> Love you got me. away my pairing! Fuck Love you! Love me! <laughs> <laughs> You want to heal everybody in this village so you can get the item for Rosa at the end of this trial. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't do that. Out You're disowned all, from your family. Out of all the trials that I... <laughs> out of all the trials... piggy. I'm, I'm sorry. My TV breaks every once in a while. <laughs> Fucking Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> anyway, so our time's up. And Lunar our boss Asura. encounter is Lunar Asura. You know what? In all in all fairness, three orbs. I should have fucking seen it coming. <laughs> <laughs> I still, like I said, better for a boss to have an authentic strategy and make it a challenge, even if it is just by means of 
heavy healing or heavy damage compared to bullshit tactics like, oh, suddenly I'm invincible for 10 minutes. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Young Mini looks like a mini Oester from, um, it's, another, it's one of the Tales games I don't think we got overseas. There's like a mini, there's like a martial artist monk who looks just like Young does Mini. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to the Dark Aeon fights in Final Fantasy X now that I think of it. Oh, shit, I missed the Suncrest. Let me go back. Oh, Dark Bahamut. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm I'm not looking forward to them. Yeah. You know? But then again, I usually remember to get it anyway. Well, um, on, on typical playthroughs, yeah, I know exactly where they are, so I'm always there on the, the time I'm in that location. You know, but you're fucked if you forget. <laughs> yeah. As I mentioned, with the Monster Hunter side quest, it's going to be funny. All right, I got to go into Mushroom Rock and hunt for these goddamn monsters. Oh, look, Cindy. <laughs> hey, Cindy. Nice tan. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't, the only thing I don't want to end up having to get is, um, one of those translations where the fucking, where the guy's a complete fucking weeboo otaku and then it just goes one for one rather than understanding the point of localization. Thank God you fucking killed it. I was running out of topics. <laughs> uh, tacos, tacos. Uh, what do you think about tacos? Uh, I love beef tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa, you failed. Here's a mega elixir. <laughs> I feel like such a failure. <laughs> so we're actually pretty lucky to run into this floor of remembrance because we got some pretty kick-ass dragoon equipment for Kane. Dragons, give to me. <laughs> uh, what do you want? <laughs> uh, two hot dogs and a large coke. <laughs> yeah, two chips and a coke. <laughs> Uh, which I think he's using right now, actually. Hmm. What's so special about it? It's just... It's hey, you got a Wyvern Holy Lance! Holy shit, I got a Wyvern Lance! That is a very rare drop. Too bad, we don't longer need it. <laughs> this is one of my here? least favorite trials in the game. This is Edge's trial. Are we playing tag with Rubicon? No, we're... <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> the keys are all used to unlock wooden doors. And they'll tell you that it's kind of like Resident Evil. There's a, there's a keyhole uh, in the shape of an elite warrior here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Oh, the special key. Uh, it's a very, very weird looking key. This is like a giant playroom for Edge. Yeah, he. Uh, that's what I was mentioning earlier. He's getting, he's getting a boner. Boner's a hard word. Let's rephrase that. Hey. <laughs> uh, boner's a bad word I for that. I see what you did there. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, uh, I, did, I did this, for, the first time I did this was on the advanced board, I didn't have a guide for this. Gamefax was just a click away. Uh, yeah, but I didn't feel like, I was in the shitter. <laughs> and if you're wondering why the frame rip looks like it's derping on me, it was! <laughs> Sid, you have a, you have a fine beard, but it's no young stash. <laughs> Before we begin this, we would like to have your feedback on what you think of our, of technically Johnny's idea to incorporate the RPGs as a weekend let's play. I think I asked that in part 23. Oops. <laughs> Just as a reminder, I wasn't this. satisfied with your answers, so answer me again. <laughs> and that was interesting. <laughs> oh, what's that? Sid feels dizzy. <laughs> Sid's too old for this shit. <laughs> this guy's gonna ask some questions. Do, you, the like a, blue do door? you like Elise or Amy Rose? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you know, what is this really fucking doing? What's Sid's final test? Dharmony.com? <laughs> you would be perfect as... an Edward. <laughs> well, fuck! We got a music box. I don't know what it fucking does. I'm never gonna use it. It puts um, Hammer Brothers to sleep. Uh. <laughs> So if you play it, Sid falls asleep. <laughs> That's a nice little bonus. You know, I stopped playing Final Fantasy IV. I decided to boot up Mario 3 and suddenly the Hammer Brothers are sleeping. <laughs> you just opened the forbidden chest. Now you can't get Zodiac Spear. Oh. <laughs> now we won't get the good ending. <laughs> <laughs> and the game ends with Rosa cheating on Cecil with a goblin. <laughs> Fuck. Even Kane's like, God damn. <laughs> Poor Kane got a fake case of the limp spear. Cecil, your fit was so bad that it affected me. <laughs> You know, there's... Gotta look for evidence. You gotta go here at this certain time. And then you get blizzard from the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> anyway, so somebody was moited. Final Fantasy IV Creepypasta. Uh... Eh, Bloody Tears is kind of overdone. Yeah. And your point being, I saw... <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we need to t we need to communicate with all these people to talk to other townspeople for clues. Where, 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 where am I going? I'm trying to figure out who the murderer is. I blame Cecil. Come with me, Rose. <laughs> Kane, you say that for everything. <laughs> And then, Cecil, and then Kane's like, and then the gods tell Kane, you have failed the quest. And Kane's all like, do I still get Rosa? <laughs> I blame Cecil, it's your fault. <laughs> Rosa, come with me. <laughs> so we found out the person that was murdered was killed with a spear. Who else uses spears in our kingdom? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can imagine Kane too. I know what this looks like. <laughs> Doink! Oops. <laughs> Sorry, chronic Sorry. backstabbing <laughs> disorder. Sorry, have it. <laughs> Sorry, chronic backstabbing disorder. <laughs> Did you fall asleep here? Because I was seeing yeah. that text there for a while. <laughs> Nothing, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody swarms cane? <laughs> Dog pile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's a spear right there. Merry Christmas, Cecil. Merry Christmas, Kane. <laughs> Drink more Ovaltine. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bloody spear. And we're pretty much going, walking out with tainted evidence. <laughs> we just touched the murder weapon. There goes the fingerprints. <laughs> and so we have the old time CSI. But unfortunately, <laughs> the Lunarians are still sleeping, so. <laughs> CSI Baron. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't a random attack. No, oh, I don't think shit. someone landed on my by accident. <laughs> yeah, right. A rogue dragoon <laughs> who can't control his jump quite yet. Nor his boner. Yeah. <laughs> so he's hiding somewhere? We, 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 gotta, we gotta find him. What if the plot twist at the end of all this was that it was actually Kane? <laughs> it was the pot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a magic pot, actually. He won an election. Yeah, God damn it, he really wanted it. <laughs> Well, actually, maybe it was one of the magic pots from ten. He got the right. He hit the wrong eye. Fuck. <laughs> Cecil, I hope you're. I pray you're alive when I wake up tomorrow. Cecil, what's your favorite little rascal? <laughs> Alfalfa, or is it Spanky? <laughs> Fucking pervert. <laughs> Imagine this kid can't fall asleep, so he starts chatting with Cecil. <laughs> Cecil, there has been a problem that has been plaguing me this past fourth night. What is it, Kane? How do you think they turned Jello green? <laughs> How do you think they put the M's on the M and M's? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if the, if the culprit was a runaway rogue, this guy is long gone. Why does the spear get its own seat? <laughs> <laughs> Cecil, I got night terrors again. <laughs> <laughs> Sing me a lullaby. <laughs> Roses somewhere. Roses tied up. Okay. Ah, hentai. <laughs> Let me give you a hand with a dick. <laughs> oh, how did that get there? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were taking her to his mother's. After they fuck out, after they fuck each other's brains I out. I think that's what they're going to do. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, can I, can I watch? <laughs> <laughs> Never gets any easier. I'm, act I'm acting like I'm playing this live. I'm not. It's post commentary. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you need to go back to our brush set to see this. Okay, no, you don't. Uh, I don't even remember. Don't you what need the to go I'm... inside and watch? I don't even. <laughs> can you just shank one of them already? No, I can't. Uh oh, bloody spear's missing. Oh, you're right. It took a seat, too. <laughs> <laughs> the spear is sentient. Top of the morning, neighborhood. How have we failed everything? <laughs> oh, they're dead. Oh, shit. How unfortunate. What if Ken actually did it because he has night towers? <laughs> <laughs> Cobras. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun. Da -na 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 -na. Slenderman? <laughs> I was wearing a really fancy business suit. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually trying to remember what the uh, the fake AI colonel says in Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> like, I saw, just, I saw a bright light to the east. <laughs> and then when I came to, I was home. What the hell do you like, think happened? What do you think happened to me? Huh? <laughs> I love that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> so now the weapons shop is locked. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Enrico. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, this looks bad. Oh, high five mark. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, 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 no. <laughs> you good? <laughs> what the fuck? The spirit. the spirit told me to kill you. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, Kate. <laughs> I don't know. The spirit has been more loyal to me than you have, and you stole my woman. <laughs> this is not good music for this kind of battle. And here. he's counting down. That only means one thing. Mega flare. New Year's! <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. God damn it. Every last point helps, dude. I guess so. Lol. <laughs> Is that him saying that or Kane? Kane. <laughs> Ow. I see the lunar bomb going, damn you. Can I make it? Nope. <laughs> Doesn't matter, you have reflect. Yeah, I'm still going to be in the air. Still, you blew him the fuck up. I would have liked the little cutscene where if you jump and he does mega flare, it hits Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, worth it in hindsight. You dick. <laughs> Cecil, I swear that was a total accident. <laughs> As Rudy would say, jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Game Abel's Lance. I get it, because he's Kane, so therefore Kane, Kane and Abel. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Yes, sir. Did you ever play a game of Final Fantasy and you never thought to yourself, you know what? This needs more crazy taxi. Wow, that's, uh... Huh? Yes. Sid's trial is fucking crazy taxi with airships. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> We're going to the KFC. <laughs> Alright, I know where that is. South. So, luckily... Past me, can't hear you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> You won't believe one of the plot twists to 13 to, Or how they beat Adam. KFC? No. <laughs> Past hope, here's future Sarah. What? Watch the scene. Okay. Schwann under 60 seconds. Next thing we know... Is our final passenger John McLean? Please tell me it is. <laughs> no. I want to get to the news kioski by 1020. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you tell me who the 42nd president was? <laughs> 21st. 21st, sorry. Chester Allen Arthur. Chester Allen Arthur. Chester A. Arthur. 1881, 1885, nominated vice president in 1880. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> thank you, random construction worker, man. <laughs> Clearly, it's right here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, sorry. It's actually tea Stage fright. I just, I just teabagged the castles. <laughs> <laughs> what? Trade collection. Oh, we gotta go to Kaipo. For our daughter's wedding. And the prom's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Agart? Yeah, the, um, you know, the village we almost blew up with the magma whale? Well, oh! Yeah. So no Cecil's allowed there. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh! Okay, you can play Crazy Taxi. I kind of imagine Sid one day going out with a toy hammer. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> that, that's Tonka tough. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a guarantee on the back of the Adamantium armor. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one of those illegal tags you can rip off like the ones you find at mattresses? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a property of this. <laughs> Lightning. Which doesn't really do much. Completely missed Kane despite being high up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> You're no Thunder God at all. <laughs> <laughs> Doink. Doink. <laughs> <laughs> I see that and I think of a fucking way. I do it right first. Like, let me try again. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Drop this. <laughs> <laughs> so can we exit this game of Crazy Taxi now? Thank you. Uh, no, 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 no! <laughs> But yeah, there's only one more to go, and then we can finally exit the Lunar Ruins. What is it? Patty Cake with Zemus? Uh, <laughs> jump rope. Oh, shit. <laughs> I never got that card. <laughs> yeah, I never got that card either. What's the farthest you ever got from the King of Jump Rope? 23 before I lost interest. <laughs> 23 before I realized I was playing Jump Rope. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why would I want Excalibur 2 anyway? It screams fool's bait. I want to get it just once, just to say I did it. I don't want to get it, and then when Final Fantasy IX's re -release, eventual re-release comes out on the PS4, it'll be a trophy, and then I'm fucked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wanted. <Dark> <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... 
There are two Wrestle a bear. Don't lose. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> that won't open unless you're a pig. Wow, that's fucking I needy. I don't get that. It's a sentient door. Once a pig, that's all you need to know. <laughs> I require bacon. Exactly. <laughs> I see a mini hole. I see... What was that? A uh, blue switch. And yes, you killed your twin. <laughs> and then he was crushed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, which one's worse? Pig or toad? Both. That's not a yes or no. <laughs> I mean, what, what, I mean... Hmm. They both suck the uh, end. Okay, there you go. That's all right. That's a good way to say it. Uh, the way I look at it, pig, because then you're not trying to be cooked in the bacon. There are people that eat frogs. Huh? There are people that eat frogs. I don't count the French. <laughs> Uh -huh. And that is essentially the end of the trial. A hundred bottles of beer on the wall. A hundred <laughs> bottles of beer. <laughs> I can see Cecil singing that nonchalantly and Sid ready to crack him in the head with a hammer. Oh, idy, idy, idy. Lunar Leviathan. Oko Poco. You came out of fucking nowhere. Didn't he? <laughs> Look, I, I couldn't think of a classy answer, so I just said fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> Game double jumps. Palin will do Thundaga. I'll do max damage all the time. And I edge. hope you get to Karaja before you end up being deluged to death. That's okay. I cast slow on you and revive it. Still wanting to stop the DS version. Oh, what's that? I get an automatic priority? Thank you. <laughs> what do you mean I counter <laughs> slow with deluge? <laughs> <laughs> Leviathan, Lunar Leviathan, Ogopogo. Lunar Ogopogo? Hey, <laughs> shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> This guy pretty much serves as a warning. Hi, I'm Shinryu. The there he is! The hardest boss of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Rock your Rock your Wow, that looked like a fire twister. And Kane is out like a bitch! <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> I'm the best one <laughs> Alright, Rock your Rhinos. Christ. Well, it's like she's trying to warm her hands up. As you can see, uh, his Inferno packs quite the punch. Pretty much an instant kill. I don't think you could, I don't think you can defend against it entirely. Okay, uh, Cecil says no. No, no, that was a physical attack. Oh. So, <laughs> what strategies can I tell you? Bonk him in the head. Yeah. <laughs> right, Cecil will attack. Hopefully, the holy elemental spell will follow up with this, so you can do more than uh, break the damage cap. Palum will cast flare uh, when he can. Of course, this being a super boss, he has more than one phase. By the by, does this thing happen to have, like, um, any elemental weaknesses? Yeah, no, not top of my head. I'm gonna assume no, because it's super boss and it shouldn't have any. I don't know. You'd be surprised. And there goes Palum. Good night. So, uh, the first form of Brachyoridos, he pretty much casts Inferno and does, uh, attack, uh, physical attacks. Once you take away enough of his HP, he will start counting down. Let's see, where is this? What do you got? Uh, it doesn't state anything of that, so... No. Resistant to weakness? Nothing? Resistant to poison, blind, silence, pig, mini, toad, petrified, death, berserk, confused, sleep, paralyzed, curse, gradual, petrified, immune to poison, blind, sleep, pig, mini, toad, <laughs> petrified, death, berserk, confused, sleep, paralyzed, curse, gradual, petrified, uh, I wonder what the fuck they got the differences. You also can do attacks such as Protect, Reflect, Mega Flare, Maelstrom, Restore, Black Hole, and Object 199. Object 199, the fucking CPU attack. Anyway, so... Well, it is the game is generally played by means of computer. Here's the thing with Brachyoritis. When he starts counting down, he's obviously counting down to Mega Flare. However, if you attack him while he's counting down, he changes his strategy completely. He will cast Protect on himself, and then he will cast Reflect on himself. And then he will start doing triple cast spells. Lovely. And it's not like the triple cast the Dark Elf did back in the Lodestone Cavern. No, they are considered separate spells. So Faraga will hit you for 8,000. Blizzaga will hit you for around 7,000. And Thundaga will hit you for around 7,000. So why don't you use Dispel? Huh? Dispel will break that. Dispel? Well, at this point, I would recommend you cast Reflect on one of your party members and start bouncing spells off of him. I wouldn't waste your time with Dispel. Because... Why not? You, I, to me, I don't think you can afford to waste a turn. You always if you would... if you end up breaking the dispel, won't he recast protect and reflect on himself again anyway? You're very true. But doesn't that cost him a turn? It costs him a turn. But, but that gives you more than enough reason to do it, in my opinion. I I wouldn't waste it. I would. 
Now, even though he's casting Black Hole, which is what we saw in Zeroma's spell to negate all his status buffs, it doesn't take away his Reflect. Right. Well, the, the Reflect isn't technically a status buff. It's just a spell. Right. So that wouldn't take that away. Meanwhile, Sasso's looking nonetheless but, but worse for it. Well, hopefully, well, you see, the pro problem here, though, is that Brack, you're right. Oh, he's gone. All right. God almighty, <laughs> why am I alive? <laughs> why did I agree to this? And now he, that's why he's a prototype. <laughs> <laughs> They all seem to have this fucking strategy. Reflect and then bounce off to hit you. What well, another death machine yeah, that we fought in the cave of trials didn't have that strategy. Yeah, it sucked and died. <laughs> <laughs> I got a kick out of that. <laughs> no, he whacked that and looked like he was posing for Elvis. <laughs> uh huh. Mm, jelly donut. Mm, jelly donut. <laughs> <laughs> Lordy. <laughs> There's a treasure box right there, but I'm not getting it. What is it? I don't know. Shinria? Yeah, fuck. God forbid. <laughs> there was a monster called the Regis Mark V, which was literally an indestructible android. But every time he blew something up, he would ch ch chant in pride and joy, like, Victory reigns supreme for the Regis Mark V. And I imagined that for Omega. <laughs> like, he gained a voice that would just blow up a fire hydrant and goes, You cannot withstand the might of the Omega Mark V. Do 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 do. <laughs> so here I am being a okay that warps you back out of the lunar ruins here I am thinking that's not a save point so I end up using a mega elixir right here dipshit so I use a mega elixir here and then I find that it's a save point fuck and I hate you uh, well, I, I have, okay. yeah the very last thing to do uh Batman oh who the fuck is this the other super boss he has complete darkness that's he a fire. Is, he is Aromas, but at the same time, he is not. He is Aromas EG. EG? What's that stand for? Um, egg? <laughs> egg. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, that's a more complete Aromas. Yikes. And that, what's with the female there at the cross? I don't know square. <laughs> I'll believe it. I see it with Mateus. Okay, so just for a little backstory, in case two of you don't know this. Zeromus essentially ambushed the Power Rangers, kidnapped the Pink Ranger, or the Yellow Ranger, and then became the Megazord. Yeah. So, back in when Final Fantasy IV was initially released in Japan, um, and after the American release, Japan got a second release of Final Fantasy IV called Final Fantasy IV Easy Type, which was pretty much a real bastardization of the game. It was even easier than the American version of Final Fantasy IV, if you can believe that for a second. Wow. For some reason, in the addition of making the game really easy, well, easier for, you know, the beginners, they changed their Mrs. Sprite to this. Mm. I have no idea why they changed it, but that's what they did. So this is pretty much what Zeromus on the easy type version of Final Fantasy IV looks like. So they figured for the advanced version and the complete collection version, you know what, we have the sprite that we spent a lot of time making. Let's revamp it and make it a super bonus. Mm -hmm. Zeromus EG though, isn't that difficult to be honest. Well it has Reflect up and I'm not seeing it do anything else. Well it, it always starts to bat off with Big Bang, which we are we're used to at this point. Check out little came with his blue hair. It also likes to utilize spells. You saw we saw it use Toad earlier, to not much effect, and we saw it use Mini. So it's a bit more nasty in terms of, you know, status-inducing spells. But other than that, this guy really isn't that big of a deal. And another fun fact, you know those summon books we got? Yeah. You can actually, you can, you, if you want to, you can start using them on this boss battle because, you know, you're at the end of the game anyway, so you're gonna need them. Right. Some of the summon books also have secondary effects. Like what? I'm not sure what summon book it is, but one of them can transform Zeromus EG into a token. It's temporary, mind you, for a few turns. Please tell me to show that off. No, because that makes the battle pathetically easy. But I would like to see Zeromus uh, as a token. I did it during my advanced one in Final Fantasy IV out of complete fucking accident. Because I wonder, you know, I got these books here. I wonder if I, they look like one-use items. And then you throw it at Zeromus? Uh, Bonk! I th <laughs> That's not how I use it. Yeah. But the, the, the summon books, the secondary effects can affect Zeromus EG. But I don't want to use them because I, I just want to fight this guy the normal way. I wanted to say at least once. Oh. Ah, well. Zeromus Toba looks so cute. Uh, I've read on strategies that when Zeromus is down to the bare minimum of his HP, his last resort is pretty much like 5 to 10 attacks in a row. Ah, uh, the Gigantor from 6 events. 
uh, I believe uh, one of the, um, the tiers before Kefka also had 10 hits attacked. Yeah. Um, so I, I would assume it's something similar to that. Thing so is, though, if you have edges vanish, you can actually get right by that. I believe it would. Uh, I believe, uh, yeah, the blink spell would bypass it. But uh, the thing is, though, he's not going to do that for this fight because he only does it when his HP is between a certain number, but after a certain amount of turns. Basically, it's kind of like Go going away from Final Fantasy V. You trigger the death animation before you trigger the percentage of HP where you actually where he actually does the yeah. Correct. Where he executes the proper command. I like. I, I think I get him to the HP level that he needs to be in order to initiate the last resort attack. But then I hit him again. That takes him out of it. So, so meanwhile, all all Edge is doing now is throwing the shuriken. But at this point, you may as well just bonk him normally. Yeah. And Palum's not getting much use here because reflect. Well, Zerom has actually cast reflect on himself when you hit him with the spell. Anytime you cast a spell on him, he counts with reflect. So what I really should be doing here. Well, I'm, I'm bluffing with Palum, so I can get the, uh, the uh, get a stat boost on the magic uh, properties. Uh, what I should be doing here is I should be casting Reflective Porum on somebody here and start bouncing spells off. But we don't. Nope. But yeah, but this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is this is it. This is the end of the Final Fantasy IV Let's Play because after we beat the boss, there's no credit sequence. We already showed that up in Part 22. Right. Uh, so, Matt. Would you, would you recommend Final Fantasy IV to a, a person who's ever played an RPG ever? Or yes, I would. Would you? Can you only recommend it to a person who likes JRPGs to begin with? I'd recommend it as a starting point for JRPGs, but actually, no, I wouldn't because we're way far ahead now. But this is one definitely worth coming back to just to see the how, just to see how it was done properly before it all fucked up. I will say though, it's my first JRPG, mm -hmm. um, and it did a good job. I was hooked. Mine was seven. Worked backward. Found this to be one of my favorites in story. Only because it didn't fall in love with itself, and it didn't try to mask poor explanations with needless contribution, contri contrivances, contrivances, and convolutions. But yeah, I mean, there there are a lot of ways you can get this game. You can get the original American translation of Final Fantasy IV, known as Final Fantasy II. Uh, just look for the red cover. Uh, you can get it on. You can get it for the PlayStation, but it goes under Final Fantasy Chronicles, which comes bundled with Chrono Trigger. The only thing that we don't, the only way we don't recommend you do it is don't go to see the back alley guy. He'll tell you to close your eyes and suck it out through a straw. Oh. You won't like that one. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you can get Final Fantasy IV Advance for the Game Boy Advance, which is actually the version we're playing, or you can play the actual version that we're playing, Final Fantasy IV Complete Collection for the play, uh, PlayStation Portable. Which you could do if you don't mind a bit of uh, fanfic in the after years. <laughs> Well, speaking of the after years, we will not be getting to the after years for quite some time, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna move. We're gonna branch off the different RPGs uh, after this game is over. Um, in terms of what RPG we're doing next, I'm not exactly sure. Yet. Depending upon what I could do with my finances, it'll either be Persona, or if not, we'll just do Pokemon Yellow. Do you want the audience to say? Huh? Do you want the audience to say? Yeah, why not? Okay. Persona or Pokemon Yellow. The one with the most thumbs up is the next RPG would do. And for those of you wondering, for the Persona game I'm doing, it'll be Persona for the PlayStation 1. Yeah, Persona 1. Not the uh, 1. PSP. Not the PSP version, the PlayStation 1 original. That's actually a pretty rare game. It is. Most of it, and it's macro to hell. And he is dead. Do I at least get to vote for the next game? Oh, no! <laughs> Zoroma CG can't feel his legs. See you in Final Fantasy 12, kiddies! <laughs> That's it. High fives! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> and now he defeated his own hatred. Goodbye. I don't know. You know he's just he's taking a nap. Oh, he's, he's, he's... Dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of not to say farewell. The others are almost kind of a dick. <laughs> well, that's what you get from evil Jesus. No enlightenment, just a slap in the head. <laughs> and a high five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but so that's, that's it, it for the Lunar Ruins. That's it. For, that's the end of the Final Fantasy IV. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you guys enjoy it. I sure as hell had fun with it. And we end with teabagging the Lunar Ruins. <laughs> anyway, Technically, you're teabagging old mech. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Sorry, old mech. <laughs> with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Johnny. And I am young.
Yeah. I wish. the Garen brothers. You guys have a great night. Thank you for watching and take care.